Alright, after a little bit of a break, we are going to be returning to the crazy mayhem that, uh, that my poor heart has been undergoing. There's plenty for us to do, and um, yeah, I guess I can start by pointing out that um, last time we played, I, I was advised to uh, use the Stellar Networks mod, which is the successor to Hypernet, and I really enjoyed Hypernet. So I threw it in there, I, I kind of made a backup save, they're both identical. Um, I, I've been meaning to clean this up. Let's hope it doesn't backfire and I delete the wrong one. I kind of can imagine that uh, happening to me. Uh, of course the non-default stacks I specified there are still there. I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of it. Um, but last time we did manage to accomplish finding a very nice, neat, cozy sector. Derelict like ship, scavenger, and a derelict like ship. Huh, sure. Um, it's 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 pretty cool. Uh, we have Rostock, we have Cordon, uh, we have a bit of debris. I think we have a few more planets to colonize, but one of the issues we ran into is that we are now severely undermanned. Yes, severely undermanned. So if we were to manage our colony and check out also all the ships that we already uh, stowed away, we probably could stow away another ship or two. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, my favorite time of the day, right? Mm. Or I guess we can fly around being undermanned. I guess that shouldn't be too much of an issue besides the fact that we're going to be burning through supplies like crazy. Yeah, maybe I should stash some things away. How about the ISS Hecate? Okay, uh, this might actually take a while, won't it? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh, we'll take the supply hit. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to figure this out. I think most of our crew requirements come from the Paragon and from the two Promethean Fang. Tankers, tankers, <laughs> uh, tankers, because all of them are capital-sized ships. Now I can take out the tankers, but yeah, it's, yeah, I guess I can take out some of the tankers, but it's not going to make that much of a difference apparently. So, without further much ado, let's at least make sure that we can restock. Uh, which means we're going to have to go. Uh, why do you have prompts? Proms, 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 proms. What was proms again? Um. Um. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Ooh, you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be there. Nope, can't figure it out. Oh well. I'll come back to that eventually. What did? A prospector do again. Ah, right, right, right. Uh, how much crew can it hold? Only 150. I think we can at least uh, stack away the prospector. That's not stacking away. Come on, prospector. Time for you to go. Or hammerheads. I think we lost the hammerhead. Oh, man. Um... Ah, screw it. We'll keep the prospector with us as well. Can't make up my mind, and that is, uh, I, I guess, acceptable, right? Uh, eventually, we're gonna have to replace the heavy freighters, I think, with atlases because atlases aren't completely bad anymore. And that's it. All right, time for a supply run. Yes. Oh boy. Okay. Um. It's not that far, right? Oh yeah, and we were missing a stable location in the system, which hurt quite a bit, but there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. Uh, I'll quickly check out the thingamajig down here. Oh, wait, hold on. That thingamajig. Cargo pods. Probably mine. Uh, definitely mine. I'll take it. Alright. Or... Why am I moving so slowly? Probably because I haven't sped up yet. I could have imagined we were quicker than this. 
Uh, but what was I trying to get at? Right, we're gonna go back, we're gonna do a supply run. And then we're gonna colonize a few more planets because uh, some of these really do need colonizing. And other than that, I haven't really come up with a concrete plan just yet, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, hello. I'm pretty sure we can do uh, still a few interesting things. I still want to keep building on our fleet, make it actually uh, offensive capable. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to kill some enemies without getting our ass handed to us, because that has happened way too often. Ooh, hold on. Oh yeah, there we go. Order your second command to handle it. <laughs> oh, it's been way too long since I last played this game. I was really confused there. I figured they uh, actually pushed for an engagement, which didn't make a lot of sense to me. But I just clicked the wrong button. Um, but yeah, now that we have access to Hypernet, at least I can keep an eye out for some... Uh, God, there's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? I can keep an eye out for some of the weapons that we need because I think we're missing quite a few we uh, quite a few of them. Hey, spaceport and farming at Gordon. Wait, no, spaceport is done and now farming construction has started. Excellent. Very, very glad to hear that. That's a lot of debris. I'm not sure if it's worth picking up these derelict ships, but I'm sure it's not going to backfire, right? High risk, unlikely you'll get anything. That's fine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that is unlikely. Okay, I think we're just gonna book her out. Most of it is not really worth it. So, uh, time to get out. And burn through our supplies. Yee. I might need to postpone some of our repairs. Because this is getting out of hand. Um, oh no. Just gonna casually cruise on by. Like, one of the things I'm afraid of is that the storms are gonna hit us, which causes us to use up more supplies. Which in turn means that eventually we're gonna have to turn off repairs. Um... So I'd rather just burn through time, if anything else. Uh, we're sitting on still like roughly about 3 million, that's not too shabby. We still have plenty of fuel around, that's not too shabby either. All the time in the world. Oh crap, yeah, yeah, that's my fault. I actually didn't know there was a uh, storm there. I assumed it was a safe Cruising, safe swimming, whatever the hell you want to call it. Alright, the Ludic Church. Alright. So, um, time to do a little bit of resupplying. Now, I can't remember which weapons we were looking for. I know that we were missing a few uh, very interesting ones. But we'll, uh, we'll fix it accordingly. Alright, let's see. Talk to men who ordered the, cap uh, the cadet to apprehend you. What's that all about again? Oh yeah. You want me to uh, mess somebody up? Not to the concerned man and walk over to his stable. Ooh, delivery contract, I'm good. And yeah, off-brand data pad. I don't think I'm interested in that one. Instead, we are here for the, the good stuff, the big stuff. Uh, what about transplatonic ores? Hmm. I might just kick them out, just to get rid of them. Unless I decided to go all the way to Chico Mozzuk. Or whatever the hell you want to call it. Well, we can try to sell the Canon. I know that I need to visit a few more sectors and that one is relatively close by. Uh, what about metals? Metals? That will also be Canon. Organics, uh, pirates, don't really care about pirates. And 
domestic goods. Yeah, I don't care about pirates either. I guess we'll offload this crap right here. Unless I decide to go to Kani. Wait, we don't need money. Let's just get rid of it. There you go, 200k. I don't think I want to go to the Ludic Path. Yeah, we'll just offload it here. It's not going to be a problem. There we go. It's gone. It's all gone. Just the way I like it. Uh, recreational drugs. Don't care about it. Heavy machinery. Don't care about it. And let's see. Can my brain remember what I'm looking for? I really can't. See, this is the problem. If I don't play this game for like one week or two weeks, it's just my mind goes completely blank and I have no idea what I used to be doing. Instead, I'd have to guess. Alright, uh, we'll repair some of our ships. Thank you. Come again. And our next stop is going to be Tartanus. Tartanus? Close enough. These guys don't care anyways, and I don't care about them. Uh, take a shuttle. Uh, the woman's smoking in the corner. I I'm good without. Bye-bye. Trade goods. Alright, I'll be buying all your stuff. Thank you very much. Also gonna make sure we're still stocked up on supplies. That never hurts. Hmm. Also, I've been fi- Yeah, 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 just allow the scan. How are my- You know what? Yeah, sure. There. Take it. Take it and leave. Since when are luxury goods- <gasps> Oh, you little bastards. I know why. Typical. I was gonna say, I don't have any illegal goods you can find anyways, what are you gonna do? But no, 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 luxury goods for me. Bastards. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good with Gillet. Yeah, I did not see that coming. Bounty hunters, smugglers, it's fine, it's fine, nobody cares. Hey, the gate of Kanon. Wait, this is the first time we're in Kanon? I find it a bit hard to believe. High security codes. Ah, I'm good, I'm good without. But what I do need is more of the good stuff. Volatiles might sell for a pretty good price in Araka, Samara, Sconia. Don't really care about any of those locations here. Have uh, have 150 volatiles, if I care. Have all my transplutonics. Have all my recreational drugs. Have everything. I don't need it. Ooh, an hepatitis gun. I'll take it. Care about the squalls. And then there is the open market I'd like to buy from. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. I have a really good feeling about this. Ooh. I am forgetting something important, aren't I? Oh, that's embarrassing. Where can I buy crew on the cheap? Umbra. Oh boy, we're going to Umbra. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, we can do some great things in Umbra. Uh, so Umbra. I I'm sure they've missed me, you know. Uh-oh. Run, ships, run! So long, suckers. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, sure, go ahead and scan me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's good. I forgot they now nowadays also chase you out into the systems. Or uh, they chase you out into uh, hyperspace. Jokes on me, I guess. Mm. Alright. Hello, Umbra. How are you doing? I've missed you. Have you missed me? He looks down. A uh, long ranged pulse laser blueprints. Interested? I mean, no, not really, but whatever, we'll see. Anyways, we are here for the crew, and boy, do they have a lot of it. And we're maxed out on crew. Hmm. I should see if they're perhaps selling some transport ships. Okay, well... They nip that in the butt. Idle officers. I have no idea which officer was idle, but we solved the problem. Okay, so we now maxed out on crew, that is fantastic. Oh, oh boy. Oh my, um... Yeah, sure, take 5,000. Hmm, that's not a good deal though. Or is it? It might be. Well, screw you. You're not getting any of my supplies. How about that? Then again... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you for your business. Please come again. Oh, by the way, um, that was my plan. To uh, do some business. So what do we want? We probably want some volatiles. Oh man, I can have all the volatiles. Look at that, a thousand units. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get some volatiles. Let's get some heavy heavy weaponry as well. Man, raiding can be so much fun. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. I guess uh, I guess I'll hang around for a bit. Just hanging around. Let's acquire some more valuables. Oh man, we, we did kind of nip that in the butt, didn't we? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, guess I'll be getting more heavy weaponry. How many casualties? Ooh. Okay, never mind. There. Yeah, it's not worth it. Might as well just uh, whoop, finish that up awfully quick, and we'll keep moving. So I was thinking, if we hit up Sindrian, Volturn, Crew, or uh, Norfia, we might be able to get some of our fuel back that we uh, spend it, and who knows, we might be able to sell some of the volatiles in the process. Looking at you, Sindria. That will be pretty good. Uh oh. Yeah, let them fight. And this time I was not stupid enough to not turn on my, um... I was smart enough to actually turn on my transponder. Alright. Military bounties, I don't care about that. Those are usually just... <gasps> yes! A jackpot! I, uh... Jackpot, that's all I can say to that. I don't want to go to Esalen. I might actually just sell the heavy armaments um, right down at full turn. A Paladin PD system, okay. Devastator cannons. I don't think we have that many devastators, but they're anti-fighters, so I don't care about them. 
High intensity lasers, we definitely need some high intensity lasers and that should uh, help out quite a bit. Uh, volatile wise, I think I would love to sell like what, 500 of them? Sounds about right. Okay, perfect. Alright, time for them to get very angry at me. Oh, they're gonna get angry, alright. And they didn't find a singular thing. Knew it. Thanks guys, see you later. Sinister woman, don't care, don't care. I mean, like the bar events can be pretty nice, but some of them, it's just... Like, why would I care about underworld bounties? Well, maybe if we decided to mess around and do a bit of raiding, but otherwise it's kind of like, eh. Eh, at best. I think. And again, I, I don't really do them at all, so I guess I'm not allowed to formulate a real opinion about it. <laughs> it's only fair. Man, that's terrible price. I should have, uh, I should have sold more volatiles. Uh, oh well. Oh, by the way, what type of weapons do you have? More hepatitis. That's always nice. Also commonly known as hepatitis. Ooh, I'd love to buy some marines, but that's just way too damn expensive. Should have bought them in Umbria. <laughs> Oh, do I feel foolish right now? Oh, by the way, speaking about feeling foolish... Come on! Ooh, a civilian transport. 400 people, we can probably bump that up to 600 and we can buy two of them. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. So I'm just trying to make sure that we have a few uh, ships available to transport uni uh, to transport crew with, so we can do more colonizing in one fell swoop. Uh, your maximum burn is eight. That matches the rest of our um, our fleet. But I am gonna have to give you where is it militarized subsistence because I'm also gonna expand your crew decks. Not the crew decks. Um, da -da -da. where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Additional birthing, there you go, those things. And we'll do this. Bollocks. We'll do the same thing here. Um, additional birthing and pa pa pa. Pa 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 pa. Militarized subsystems. Perfect. And that gives us a total of, okay, well, a thousand additional people that we can hire. Hey, better than nothing. Wait a minute. That's kind of expensive, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Alright, tender is crewer, and then we'll go to north, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's just a crappy ship I don't care about. Alright, let's see, we have some fuel, we have some supplies. Oh my god, crew's pretty expensive over here as well. It's unfortunate. A minulon? A minulon? Well, a cannon, there you go, I'd love a cannon. Those damn sweets and their weird words. There is a lot of booth people about, I must uh, I must say. Bye, mercenary scout. Derelict ship. Pirate base bounty. Okay. Follow me a bit intrigued. Alright, what else do we need? Um, more crew is always welcome. There we go, that's the marines I've been looking for. 
I guess we can sell another 200 volatiles. It's not the best price around, but I just want to get rid of them. Alright, we buy buy away. Harbless Cannon, don't care. Base lands, definitely do care. Typhon Reaper, eh. Mining Blaster. Oh crap, what was it again? It wasn't the Mining Blaster, was it? It was something else. Something that looked like a Mining Blaster, which we needed. Which was pretty powerful on our um, Sunders. Yeah, whatever, I'll buy the Mining Blasters, just to make sure that uh, if it turns out to be the Mining Blasters, at least we'll have some. And if it doesn't, well, who cares? <laughs> High intensity laser, yep. High impulsor, sure. Heavy blasters, why not? Short circuit driver? Eh. I think we are on the right track. Oh, I also want to buy one additional marine because I like to stick to roughly about 500 marines. Join the high ranking officer for a word. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I'm good. So if I check out my inventory real quick. Yeah, I think we can uh, keep colonizing for a while. Oh yeah, right. I actually did want to check out which fleets, uh, which ships they were selling. More transports. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Hello. Hello! <laughs> uh, I know that the bear is not a fantastic ship, but uh, it does look kinda kinda cool, I gotta admit. Long range mining laser, mining lands, two bear claw, giga blasters, a wolverine class drone frigate wing. Oh, I should probably actually look at the mounts. One small hybrid, two small universals, four medium universals, four medium hybrids. 6 medium energy, 12 small energy, and 7 fighter base. You know, I hate to say it, but this would actually make for a pretty okay um, support ship. If you slap on quite a few fighters, that is. Let's assume that you were to slap in 7 broad ships. Um, equip all the small energy points and the small hybrids and god knows what else with uh, point defenses. And then the medium ones can be, I don't know, also point defense. Long range weaponry. I mean, four universals is basically four missiles, right? Okay, I'm becoming a bit intrigued with this heavy platform. So what does it have? The Villain Great Hull. Okay, that's bad. Surfing equipment. Selfridge Gantry. Those are good. Expanded Cargo Hold. A Plasting Forge? What the hell is a Plasting Forge? And Hardwired Mining Lasers. Yeah, I can not figure the last part. Hmm. And this counts as a capital, I guess. It does cost 90 supplies per month, so it's not that great. Ah. But it does look pretty cool. Eh, well that sucks. <laughs> that's that's me throwing in the towel. It sucks. World Spectre. Okay, well I mean, I, I guess I could pick up a civilian transport, but I think for now we're actually uh, doing pretty fine. So this pros uh, prospector goes to the other prospector, or uh, will match a similar design as our other prospector, which of course the auto fit will take care of for us. That is not a real sentence. There you go. Our auto fit will take care of it for us, even though it has a defective manufacturer that I do not care about. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you very much. Come again and goodbye. I uh, will probably make a quick stop in 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 
Yes. I I have not decided yet where to make a quick pit stop. Um, I'm looking for a very compelling reason to. I think we're just gonna go to Kumari Kamdan, our system. You know, pay a little visit to uh, our friends at the Ludic Path. After all, we missed them quite a bit. Some might even say a bit too much. No! Stop that. Um, yeah, sure, there. Cheldian. Wait, wasn't Cheldian under. Like, didn't the. Ta -ta -ta... Well, I guess it was actually a. Uh... Ludic Path that owns Chaldean and not Ludic Church. Hmm. Domain Era Probe. That's cool. And then Space Dock. That's cool. Okay, increased pirate rates. Nobody cares about that. Do you have any interesting weapons? A Hellbore Cannon. I'll take it. Ooh. Ugh. Ooh, that's cheap. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, domestic goods, very cheap, very cheap. We can sell that Kani for a pretty good, uh, pretty good profit. But it looks like our cargo hold is getting quite a bit full as well. How about we sell five hundred supplies? How about, first of all, we buy on the black market. We sell roughly about 500 supplies. There we go. And, um... 2,000 domestic goods. Maybe I should also be selling... No, we're not going to sell some of our marines. That sounds like a terrible plan. Hmm. Auto pulse laser? Yes. Marine experience is saved on the ship, just so you know. Oh, really? I thought it was amongst... Oh god, how do I explain this? I thought the way that marine experience worked, without knowing anything about marine experience, uh, basically it's uh, XP that's divided amongst the marines, and every single marine that you sell, you sell a fraction of your XP. Well, in that case, bye-bye. Oh, good. Oh, these guys are elites. Look at that. Elite Marines, 100% effectiveness in ground combat. I guess I'll restock on the pirate planet nearby. It's okay. If it turns out that uh, their experience becomes uh, too low, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna raid a bunch. That's always fun. Just buy a thousand marines, start bashing on some poor planets. Marines distribute the experience on your ships. Oh no, don't tell me that if I lose a ship, I lose a fraction of the experience. <laughs> ah, that will be cruel. Ooh, speaking about cruel. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot I can do with that now, is there? Ooh, that's too many volatiles. How about I sell 250? No, 200 of them. Ah, eh, 170. No, 200. I made up my mind. Can't buy the transplutonic ores. Okay. Definitely do not want to be buying supplies. Uh, I might actually want to sell some of the fuel. No, never mind, I don't. I should have, by the way, picked up heavy armaments and sold them here. That would have been quite profitable. What about drugs? Quite profitable. Ah, yeah, Kani. That's the one that uh, we need to liberate some items from as well. Okay. I think that is good enough for now. Uh, 
but that does kind of fill up my cargo hold, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. Okay, I'll be back. Marion Gate. 70k. 70k. Gone and gone. Carefully approach the angry man in the expensive suit. A quick review of Decom his or her tripod suggests you need around 40 marines. Ah. <sighs> no, I'm good. Deliver the item to the sp specified location in the chest system. I'm good. Talk to the arms dealer about buying illegal weaponry. I can supply custom construction of up to 1 million credits worth of rare ships and weapons at a reasonable price of 300% markup. Alright, what do you have? Quest? Do. Let's see. Unless something really stands out, we're not going to be picking anything up. I think this is one of the items we've been looking for, isn't it? The Taichin lens. Tachon? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> what about fighters? Trident wings. Hmm. Longbows. Hmm. Yeah, somebody pointed out to me, uh, one of the mistakes I've been making for quite some time is I'm mixing bombers and fighters on a singular ship. And what I should be doing is I should, especially depending on the ship system, I should really dedicate either using bombers or using fighters. Matter of fact, I think like it's been pointed out to me like multiple times and I've just not paid attention to it. <laughs> Um, on that notion, I don't even know how many fighter bays we have available. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Bye-bye. So, let's see. Black Market. Joink. What about... Our... Ooh, that is a good price for supplies. Gets also roughly about a thousand fuel. Uh huh, transport on the course. Oh, you don't actually sell heavy weaponry. That's a shame. Why the shame? Wait, no, hold on, abort. There, you can keep the crew, uh, the crew. Those are actually marine slots. Okay, are we taking that? Are we taking that? You actually don't have any heavy weaponry whatsoever. God, unbelievable. Ooh, long range bolt rifle. I think we were missing that one as well. Don't really care about the talents. Heavy blaster. Ah, that's what we were missing. Heavy plasma cutters. Those were the ones. The golden ticket. Right, speaking about golden tickets, what do you have for me? Recreational drugs? Okay. <gasps> Supplies. Thank you very much. I actually need those. Don't care about spaceports. Yeah, that will do the trick. Lost two marines for 1212 supplies. Now that is what I call a pretty good deal. Alright. <laughs> nice try there with your uh, intercept buddy. It has been 38 minutes since your last save. One player battle and 41 market transa transactions have occurred in the meantime. Yep, better save quick. 41, holy crap. Uh, right. Anything in specific I want to sell still? Not really. Not really. Okay, 
Hey, I watched some of your Jack Lines 2 vods. The smoke grenades are working, but to be invisible, you need to be deeper in the smoke. Ah, okay, so that explains. To the right, after you throw the smoke, you only get a little bit of side protection. As soon as it extends, it works pretty fine. Your specific situation, you can't do much because the enemy was right in front of you, but I would have tried it as well and hoped he won't. Well, that hit me for one turn. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think my mistake with smoke grenades in that case is I tend to use them literally the same turn that, uh, or the the turn before I'm gonna get completely wrecked, and that's why I've had such bad experiences with smoke grenades. Whereas the enemy uses them, and then I start to notice the effect of them like two or three, uh, three turns in, and I can't actually hit the enemy. That's definitely something to keep in mind. It just drove me mental. I've been using smoke grenades for quite a while, and it seems to work for the enemy, but not me. <laughs> uh, combine that with my uh, temper, and uh, I tend to lose it. Oh, all in reserve, you say? Well, that's okay. I'm gonna launch it. Ooh. A little raid. Oh my, he actually has things. Alright, so we don't have a lot of available cargo space. I actually don't think it's worth it launching a raid in this case. I mean, if we were able to get quite a few uh, domestic goods, that would be fantastic. You know, considering the fact we'll only lose one marine, but... Where am I gonna store 3600 domestic goods when my cargo space is like 800? All right, well, that's a shame. Thanks guys, see you later. But uh, thanks for pointing that out. I'll try to see if I maybe can actually get the smoke grenades to work in my favor one of these days. All right, I think Hesperus was the next location we wanted to go because they actually do sell, whatchamacallit? Marines, there you go. They actually do sell Marines at a pretty decent uh, rate. I just noticed we actually roughly lost about 300, uh, 300k. That kind of scares me. I actually thought that we ended up making a bit of profit. Because, you know... We've been selling so many items for a uh, decent markup. And again, it might be the 5,000 supplies I've bought. What? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Oof, 14% combat readiness. Damn. Bunch of jerks, honestly. Smoking in the corner. I need an operative to extract the subject from unjust confinement in Miyarav. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. There, that's why we're here. Delicious marines. I just lost two of my best mercs to an AI that interrupt shot me with a lo- oh. Ow! I'm so mad, I think I come back and blow up the whole building instead of going on. I fully agree with you, I will do the same thing in your, in your case. And, like, I find it very hard to imagine, like, your guys are running. And the enemy is like, oh no, look at that, there is somebody passing by, let me just grab my lol, aim it, uh, just gotta make sure it's loaded and fire. It doesn't really sound like an interrupt to me. Unless they have a really good uh, reaction. Because it's a reaction shot. Ah, eh, never mind. <laughs> but no, I, uh, I fully feel your pain. You know what they say, the best uh, remedy... Or anger is uh, complete and total destruction. It tends to work quite well for me. Sometimes. Or medium combat lasers. But that at the same time is the reason why I'm very afraid to do a Iron Man playthrough. Yes, Gordon, let's go. An Iron Man playthrough, because I know that kind of stuff is eventually gonna happen and it will just hurt so much.
All right, let's see. Ooh, careful now. <laughs> Just don't lose. Uh, yeah. Just don't get shot at, right? Best way to win is not to play. Uh, I I know that I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole very soon that I don't want to go down to or go down into, which is also known as XCOM. It's uh, every single time I, I say just don't get shot, just hit. It's it's very traumatizing. Let me tell you that. But I'd love to play the game again. Maybe not on hard difficulty this time. We'll just stick to normal difficulty. Yep. God, I can feel the itch. I can feel the itch. That's the worst part of all. Uh, bring out the meme mods. Uh, to be fair, are we there yet? We are there. To be fair, once I've actually done a full um, a full playthrough of Long War, I'd love to uh, give the Art of War a, uh, a spin. Uh, oh boy. Ooh. Oh, I don't really care about that. That's a terrible repair. No <laughs> way you're ever doing a playthrough. Uh, exactly. So I can make any promise I want and get away with it. Ooh, more crew. Um, why am I here? I don't know. Uh, so let's see. Which system are we gonna colonize next? So we have colonized a barren world and a Terran world. We also have a frozen world, a rocky world. Okay, it really doesn't make sense that I keep pointing that out. Oh, uh, what is this game all about? Um, if you're familiar with Mountain Blade, it's basically Mountain Blade in space. If you're not familiar with Mountain Blade, uh, basically you are a ship captain. You assemble a fleet and you basically move into the sector to do whatever you want because it's more of a sandbox game. But the idea behind it is you build up a bigger fleet so you can kill more enemies and eventually you can find your own colonies, wipe out other factions and fight horrors, well, mechanical enemies in the outer, outer sector, I guess, away from the core worlds, which is where civilization is. All the while while making sure that you don't go broke. It's actually a really fun game. Uh, it's one of the few games I really got hooked on. But that's also because I'm a sucker for Mountain Blade. Um, right, so... Oh, and one aspect about the game is you can actually customize your own ships. Which means you can slap on the weapons that you want. You can add some additional... Uh, Mods, which modify some stats. For example, hardened shields make your shields more uh, resilient. Armor makes your armor more resilient. High scatter amplifier reduces the range of beam weapons. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of them. And you're limited by a certain amount of points you can spend per, per ship. It, it can become quite complex. You can also just simply auto-outfit, so you don't have to think about it. You just take one of the presets that the game offers. Uh, but generally, if you build your own uh, ship, it tends to perform better. No, 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 we're not going to look at the Heron there, Kneffel. We're not going to look at the Heron. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, um, the Heron has long range... Well, it's okay. Is there a burst point defense laser? Why is there a burst point defense laser here? I, I can understand the Typhon Reaper to an extent. But uh, the campaign did drizzle out around November. Um, the Long War campaign. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is... Uh, 
I was playing on hard and I should have been playing on normal. I've accepted that hard is not what I'm good at. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just as uh, confused as you guys. There we go. A good old pillum. Uh... Come on. Perfect. Ah, right. So, um... Targeting feet. Targeting data to fighter wings from this carrier, temporarily increasing their damage. Trident Torpedo Bomber. Yeah, I screwed up here. I screwed up big time here. We can't have Torpedo Bombers. Uh, first of all, the best thing to do here is just make sure that we only have fighter classes. Second of all, it, it doesn't even work with the uh, ship system. Also got any other fighters. Let's see, we have an escort gunship. Um, we have a Cyphus. We have Lux Heavy Fighters, which are fighter drones. Ooh, Sparks. Wait, really? It does? Hey now. Hmm. I was under the impression when they said fighter wings that it actually is talking about um, actual fighter wings instead of uh, ship wings. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Anyways, we have broadswords, we have sparks, we have luxus. And that's roughly about it. Well, we have talents. What do Luxus have? Well, they have a decoy flare launcher and they have one IR pulse laser? IR. I'm not familiar with IR. Intensive F1. Um, okay. Hmm. I am. Thanks, Max. <laughs> uh, right. These things kind of look like garbage. Also, don't believe uh, don't believe the refire refire delay uh, for the Lux fighters. It's actually bigger. High delay. There you go. Oh no! Wait. Hold on. That's just part of this weapon. I guess. What's on the Gladius? Where's the Gladius? Ah, the Gladius fighter. Wow, hmm, where have I seen this before? And those laser with high delay. Hmm. I think uh, that concludes that. It's literally the same weapon. I mean, this is a burst BD laser. No description yet. I think they have something else. Oh, they also have two light machine guns. There you go. Which, by the way, is not with a high delay. You know, the Gladys to an extent might be interesting. But the problem is there's only two ships per wing. Pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I don't have any good heavy fighters, that's why we've been sticking with broadswords instead. Um, expanded crew decks. I do not think there's anything else I really need. Films are infinite. 
Uh, if we pick up better ships, we can equip the harem with uh, better fighters, but for now this will work. Ish. Right, Heron? Right. Okay, well, um, I think that concludes this ship. Now, I think what I want to do is... Retrofit one of these guys. So, two of them have heavy... Plasma cutters. Sabots. Harpoons. Why the hell do you have harpoons? I need you to have sabots as well. Uh, sabots work better because this thing does explosive damage. I think Warthog and Thunders will be good. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I lost the Sunder. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, these things happen. <laughs> uh, these things happen. Alright, for now I think we can uh, stop... Hello weapons, I forgot about you. We can stockpile our weapons away. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking nice, looking good. Why do I have 2400 heavy machinery? Oh, that's insane. Uh, right. I'll be picking up some more crews soon enough. Um, so, I just want to pull up, there we go, system information. You get a lot from salvaging. Yeah, I can definitely imagine that. So, I think we can at least uh, occupy four planets. I think I definitely want to do Will of the Wisp. Might also want to do Stingy Jack. Well, actually, no, not Stingy Jack. I think we gotta get uh, Volatiles up and running. That's one of the other important things to do here. Which means that we gotta get the Gas Giant. Koshai. That's, that's definitely number one, so we can get Volatiles. What did you excel at again? Nothing. Hmm. probably want to do the frozen plant to get the ultimate rich ore deposits. That might be quite nice. Char doesn't... Char really doesn't uh, account for much now, does it? And I might just pick up Wolf the Wisp and Stingy Jack in that case. I mean, I plan to colonize all of them. Just gotta get somewhere uh, started somewhere, right? Okay. So it's going to be Sagon, it's going to be the Gas Giant, and then uh, we'll see from that point forward. Sadly, I'm going to start with Sagon, because... Uh, then I don't have to worry about over-colonizing. Okay, um... I don't know if construction is completed yet. Real quick. Two days. Alright, Cordon is done. So we can expand Cordon if we want. And we're about to be able to expand uh, Rostock as well. Establish a colony. Okay, 100 heavy machinery is consumed. That's good to know. That means I gotta pick up more heavy machinery. 1000 people, 200 supplies. I'm gonna go blow up the building. Good luck with not going broke. Alright, you good luck with blowing up the building and hopefully not losing more uh, mercenaries. And that will be incredibly unfortunate. But thanks for explaining the smoke grenades and uh, stopping by. Alright, so let me think. We have Gordon. We have Rostock. Yontar, there you go. <laughs> I had to think for a while, but uh, we figured it out. Alright, this is ultra rich ore deposit, which means I want to slap down most likely mining operations. After we're done building the spaceport. Perfect. Care about hazard pay. Yeah. 
Is there, by the way, anything that I gotta gotta think about slash take care of? My security codes I'm good without. Military bounties off brand? Wait, hold on. You help me move 51 units of recreational drugs to Kowaddle. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm good. Bye bye. Alright, and now we wait for this. Uh, oh, construction is completed. Well, they're going to be pretty unstable for a bit if you don't fix the resource problem until the spaceport is up and running. Uh, that's the plan to at least get the spaceports up and running. Um, wrong key. There we go. So this spaceport is make improvements. I should not be clicking that. I really should not be clicking that. But we want to upgrade these as soon as possible to a mega port, I believe. That was the key here. Throwing in a AI core to lower demand and giving them a small stock bubble will tie them over. Oh god, okay. Alright. Um yes. Um I could simply slap in some supplies for each of them. That should do the trick. Maybe also a bit of fuel. But that's roughly about it. That's all I can think of. No, these guys are fine already. Wait, they are fine? Alright, okay. That's fantastic. And we have refining. Alright, Yontar. Brent, hello. Alright, you stockpiles. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, I guess we can give them some fuel, we can give them some supplies, and that's roughly about it. Give them some uh, 300 units of supplies, 100 units of fuel, and that should keep them uh, afloat for a bit. You don't have a single Gamma Core even, I do, they're sadly on my main plant because I didn't actually realize I had to take them with me. Should account for that, should account for that. I don't have recreational drugs, so that's not really an option. Don't have domestic goods, don't have organics. Which is ironic because I kinda do have them. I just never picked well. I don't think I have them yet. Doesn't matter. This should hopefully tie them over for a bit. You know, 12 days. That's that's all I have to worry about. Alright, we're gonna go back to core then. And this time we're gonna pick up some uh, some cores. Do I already slap cores in every single uh, spaceport or only the ones that are struggling? Wait, hold on, not spaceports. Um, civilian centers. Because those are the issue. Yes, civilian centers are actually the issue. Alright, before I do anything else, we're gonna go over here. Five gamma cores. Other uh, course and alpha core. I'm just taking everything. And I'm also taking roughly about a thousand heavy machinery, because we're gonna be needing that. Hmm. Oh, I should install this over in um, 
Rostock. Rostock needs this. Improves uh, refining. Fuel production. We can even use the Hypershun trap. Yeah, 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 we have uh, refining in Rostock. It actually finished a few days back. No, you can't. Yeah, we probably got to clear out the uh, the hunt, uh, the hyper stunt facility. Oh man! Or the coronal tap facility. Okay. Anyways, we do have the items that we need. A resource stockpile does have food. Um, let's think. I'll probably take like a thousand food with me. A little less than a thousand food. Seven hundred? Eh, whatever. Whatever floats my boat. Alright, and then we're just gonna slap down some uh, colonization efforts on these four planets. And that leaves us with just Char over there. Okay, go of the Wisp. Establish, done. And this will henceforth be known as Rookie Village. Wait, hold on. Is that fair? Isn't Rookie Village basically Cordon? Cordon? Maybe? Yeah, it is. I knew it. Lemansk. Ah, yes, good old Lemansk. Can't forget about Lemansk now, can we? Especially after the whacking we gave it. <laughs> ah. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't even need to provide them with food. Oh, that's embarrassing. I should have known. I should have known. Uh, so what do we do here? Um, can I exploit the extensive ruins? Yes, I can. I can actually build tech mining here. Do I want to build tech mining here? We already have something that supplies us with organics. We have something that supplies us with food. Wait, do we have something that supplies us with organics? Not until we start exploiting it. So how much are you over your governing capacity? Not enough, right? Hmm. I probably want to set up some tech mining. That should do the trick. Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. That's okay, that's not my problem, it's future me's problem. You probably want to set up some administrators or an AI core. Um, lucky for me, we have two administrators and we have an AI core. Done. Alright. Check, check, check. Oh. Okay. Well. That's resolved that problem. Um, angry man in expensive suit. Don't care. Pirate raids. Don't care. And if we look at our covering... Uh... Colonies under personal control. Yeah, that sounds about right. So in that case, we're gonna take a look at Yantar. No, not Yantar. We're gonna take a look at Rostock, and Rostock over here is gonna get somebody else. What leaves us with just the AI core, which means that I can only set up one more colony. I'm a bit disappointed, but eh, what you gonna do? Yep, what you gonna do? Okay. We can only have two administrators. All these things happen. 
Yeah, we can sell it more. That's right. That's very, very correct. All right. So let's see. Hmm. Um. It it really gets embarrassing. Uh, I've I've played Stalker for very very um. You know what? This is a desolate big wasteland that sucks. Darkscape it is. Done. Pri Pripyat, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure Pripyat belongs to a more deserving planet than Darkscape. And again, Darkscape will be pretty good for Char. Oh my god, that's perfect. You're right, Jupiter. <laughs> uh, nothing beats Jupiter in this, uh, this scenario. But damn it, I will have my Darkscape. Mark my words. Alright, well, there you go. We're done here. I do want to get some volatile mining set up. Um, yes. Perfect. Uh, now I need to think. Buying illegal weapons, blah 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 blah. We could potentially pick up some thunder, thunder wings. Might be interesting. Uh, it was thunder and warthogs, and we don't have any warthogs, but we can pick up maybe three, four, five, five thunder wings. Might be fun. Don't really care about the weapons. Don't really care about the ships now, do we? Yeah, I don't really care about the ships. Oh my god, guys, I take it back to have Prometheus Mark II, a modified tanker. Oh boy, are we in for some luck? Anyways, uh, uh, Thunderwing should do the trick. Five of them. Uh, relations with the pirates have improved. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Okay, uh, so now it's the kind of kind of the question we can either yeah find three more colonies and severely mismanage our planets but that means I need to go and look for AI cores I think it's fine for now uh yeah we'll do the rest later later skater I'm out of here Um, right. You can have your food back, that was my mistake. Even though I paid for it. I guess I did in the end pay for it, didn't I? Um, right. Ugh. Eventually we're gonna have to set up fuel production somewhere as well, preferably some place that does not have an atmosphere. Um, I think or Baron Road might actually be a prime candidate for a fuel production. Eventually. Not yet, but eventually. I think I want to offload at least maybe a thousand supplies. That's good enough. Uh, so where, where are we? Where are we? What are we doing? Where are we going? Hmm. I think we're gonna have to go to either Corvus, Galatia or Samara. So I did stash away a lot of my items in some place and I can't remember what place it is. But if we can find it, then we're gonna we can actually bring it back to our colonies. I think it includes a um a volatile shunt. Which is actually kind of important to have for us. Is it in Corvus? It might actually be in Corvus, yeah. I know I used a... It's my Asura. I'm not sure if it's my Asura.
Hey, construction of a spaceport in Yontar has been completed. Now that's the type of news I like to hear. That was last run. Last run we went very heavy on that. Um, how's my colony holding up? Good enough. I think this time around I might be offloading stuff in Corvus. Um, inventory, colony management, refining, install an item. Firm. Hazard pay everywhere. When does it become viable to have hazard pay? Because I remember wanting to slap it down everywhere and I was told not to do it because it was too early. Um, the growth rate bonus equal to the colony's hazard rating base. Penalty to immigration. It's always worth it. As a rate it is. As soon as you have the money. And now that they're actually making money, okay. Oh yeah, there you go. It's 20k from their uh, monthly credits. Now Yantar is not making money yet. Don't care. I'm still gonna slap it down on Yantar so we don't have to worry about it. But once mining is operational, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, fairly confident it will be fine. Also start them building ground defenses or something. Um, two, yes, those are free, aren't they? So is a patrol HQ. How did it go again? Um, real quick. I want them to have ground defense, I want them to have a patrol HQ. All of them should have a patrol HQ. Only my main planet, or a planet that I dedicate as my hub, should have a military... System. Well, the final upgrade of Patrol HQ. There you go. I mean, money is irrelevant. It's it's all about the industry slots. Always has been. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh no, nothing is free. <laughs> oh boy. Well, on the bright side, guys. Everything should have an orbital station, Patrol HQ, ground defense, and a way station. Hold on. Everything should have a way station. Uh, should, shouldn't just one plant have a way station? Because that's where all the goods get delivered. Way stations give accessibility. Oh, yes they do. Uh, yeah, I was looking at it for a moment. I'm like, I actually don't have the money for this. <laughs> ah. I think I'll queue up ground defenses together with the way station. I think that should be enough to hold them over. Ground defense for a bit of defense and the way station at least to... Uh, to get that accessibility bonus. That will be 250k or four more planets. That is roughly about a million. Okay. Alright. Manage colony. Run defenses, way station. Next up is Gordon. And once we have a bit more cash, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be slapping down some orbital stations and then probably also a patrol HQ. Uh, which means that in the meantime, we're going to have to refill our treasury because our treasury is uh, as Stronghold would say. Wait, was that Stronghold? Probably is. The treasury is nearly empty. Uh, don't be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's expensive. I know why it's so expensive though. That's completely on me. Uh, Alright, manage your colony. Ground defenses. Way station.
It's been 40 minutes since your last save. Zero player battles and 20 market transactions have occurred in that time. You know, I'm always surprised how quickly time flies. Um, especially when you're not doing anything useful at all. <laughs> I'd like to manage my colony. Tech mining. I now kind of regret building the tech mining building, but I'm sure it will pay off, right? Dividends will be paid soon enough. Hazard pay, by the way. Hmm. Yep, this is my fault. But even without this is my fault, uh, administrators are sucking up quite a bit of cash. We'll turn it profitable. Hopefully, or I'm bankrupt. Ah, I shouldn't enable hazard pay for these planets yet. I shouldn't do it. We'll enable hazard pay later. There. It's a bit too devastating on my cash reserves. Okay. That being said, and that being done, we are going to have to go back to the core worlds. And we're going to have to figure out a way to make uh, some mad dosh. Oh boy. Because currently we're probably going to end up losing maybe 80 or 90k a month. Which means we roughly have about 3 months before we go bankrupt. Uh, there's two ways to go about it. We can either go and explore. Or we can do bounties, or we can do both. Both sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Hazard pay is enabled. Sweet. Or you could do neither and just go raiding. Right, raiding is a very good way to make money. I think that's how we did it previously. Right, so where to start, where to start raiding. Hmm. Um. Well, could start somewhere. Oh, and I guess we're good to go. I, I keep forgetting how profitable raiding actually can be. And I should know this because um, I think last time that we made roughly about 4 million, it was all based on raiding. Just passing on through. Hey, 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 stop that. Uh, okay, we're fine. Back on track. Don't worry about it. I wanted to see if I could actually get myself launched forward by riding the clouds, but uh, I got myself launched in every single direction but forward. Penelope Star. Alright, we are here. Oh, let's see. Let's see what do we have. Hmm. Let's start with the obvious target, shall we? Um... I think this is a pretty good one to raid, full. Come on, Ludic Path, Ludic Path. Contest then. I'm gonna try something out here. Sometimes you just gotta take a risk. Yeah, sure, old chum. Uh, 
both of them are actually fortified. Something tells me that's not going to work out. Oh well. Uh, how did it go again? How did it go again? How did it go again? I can actually send out a raid against them. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I'm out. Uh, thanks for everything, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> I did not expect their strength to be that high. Ooh, repair the faulty power grid on a ship that I don't care about. Oh, by the way, uh, real quick, if we go through our entire fleet, you can see that it's pretty much completely fixed up, including the Paragon. All that remains is the Sunder with the uh, structural damage. Yeah, I kind of should have realized that at least the uh, orbital station would have made it quite gnarly. And I can't just simply engage the orbital station and assume they don't know my identity. I mean, we can easily blow the orbital station up. Uh oh. My brain is doing bad things. Um. Ooh, yeah, I'll buy your contract. Welcome aboard, Marines. Also, time to put you to action. Let's go. So, let's see. What are we going to acquire today? Uh, some domestic... Domestic coots might be fun. Uh, that's, that's it, though. I think that's all I want. I care about much else. I think we're starting to run a bit low on fuel, but it's nothing for me to be concerned about at the moment. Alright. 2800 units of a light or of uh, domestic goods. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'll be taking that. The only thing that I gotta be careful of is that I don't put all my um, all my eggs in the same basket. That's a hundred k. Kind of what I was expecting, uh, because if I put my eggs all in the same basket, what's gonna happen is another oh, big fleet. We won't be able to sell all of it in one go. Instead, we'll be uh, running from place to place trying to sell some of these um, domestic goods, which I still don't know the price for because I haven't turned on my transponder. So let's do that. Wait, that's heavy machinery. I don't care about that. Oh, jackpot. Thank you, Connie. Wait, hold on. Connie is not going to be uh, upset with us, are they? Right, Connie? You don't hate me. Oh, thank god. Oh, here I was worried that they uh, would hate my guts. There. Perfect. That also kind of does back the question, what are you guys short on? You're short on food, you're short on organics, fuel, uh, more domestic goods. All right, here's an entertaining idea. Idea. <laughs> Decline. Um, I don't think it's worth raiding these guys. Instead, we're gonna offload most of the goods that we raid onto this planet. We have an excess of transplutonic ores. Yeah, but I know somebody else who does as well. It's called Sheldon. By the way, real quick. Hmm. 
Yeah, for them it's food, it's organics, a little bit of fuel. Check the rate potential. All right. Let's entertain this idea. Oh, what a resistance. Look at that. Oh my. Um, well, uh, it's, that's ore though. 75k. I can live with that. They might hate me for a while. What about supplies? Oh boy. Yes, and we might be able to sell these supplies to our neighbor. I think Ch uh, Children might actually want uh, a few pieces of supplies. Can't pull up the information though, but uh, it's, I guess it's gonna be fine. We'll make it work. Chelsedon. You can wait for French Plutonics in a day too. Uh, I guess we can hang around for a bit. What what are they gonna do? Send like a resistance of 40 people? <laughs> okay, 35. Well. Alright. Thank you and come again. And they do hate my guts for uh, quite some time though. Oh, we completely annihilated both productions it looks like. Okay, well. Bye bye, I'm off. I really just don't care about war. Uh, I could have filled the rest with ore, but there's still Chelsedon for us to uh, beat up. I actually am fairly confident that Chelsedon does not want to buy Transplatonics and they do not want to buy... Well, they actually might want to buy supplies. Not much, but it's free. Ah, that's true. I might just want to go back and beat them up. Just to prove a point. <laughs> uh, there you go, you can have some supplies. Just control click. I wanna... Yeah, I guess, I guess. Control clicking good enough oh they have domestic goods it's a shame how's the fuel price pretty bad actually or uh, despite the fact that they have a deficit they're only willing to pay 40 bucks also I really need to buy fuel so that's another problem that I have to deal with did we already beat up contest then I think we did is still 100% profit. Also, that will put us on incredibly low fuel reserves. Um, I don't think we'll be able to go from A to B. Hey, wait a minute. Base price is 25. Well, it's close enough to 100% profit. Uh, okay, um, I think I'm gonna hang on to the fuel for the time being, just because we're gonna need it. And we're gonna go to Elf, Eltfell next, because they actually want to buy transport on the course for a somewhat reasonable price. Oh, speaking about that. <sighs> really? Yeah, sure. Alright, so what do we have? Let's see. Transplutonic ores, domestic goods. That is 5,000. Okay. Um, right. That is 4100, that is just about enough cargo space for us that will allow us to get transplutonic ores, it will allow us to get domestic goods. And that's going to give us a pretty good uh, profit right off the bat. 
Alright. And we only lost five marines, and look at that, we even leveled up with an additional skill point to spend. Wait a minute. So much for that plan. Um Oh, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Well, what you gonna do? Just means we got some extra profit. Oh, look at all those lights uh, light up. <laughs> we get slightly less free stuff. It hurts. It hurts to the bone. Okay. So uh, we got an additional skill point to spend. Now there's a few things that we can spend it on. We were working on our second rotation of space combat, which means that we'll be able to pick up point defenses. It doesn't sound as appealing as it really is. Um, on the other hand, we have our second rotation of technology we're doing, which allows us to get energy weapon mastery. Or we can spec into industrial planning or colonial management. I hate to say it. You can elite gunnery implants. I can. I can. Oh, but that's the problem. This only works if I'm piloting a frigate. Ooh, never mind. Three for piloting, destroy one for larger hulls. Done. I thought this only applied for uh, piloting a frigate. Elite missile specs. Ah, uh, yes. I could, definitely. But currently I don't use missiles. If you're not a frigate, it's pretty bad. Uh, right. I think it's either gonna be colony management... ...or industrial planning. It's, it's really nasty because uh, picking up co colony management is actually pretty good because it allows us to get two extra planets, so to say. One for shelves and one with an additional administrator. Whereas if you look at industrial planning, all industries supply one more unit of commodities they produce. Oh, but it's only for the colonies we govern. Yeah, colony management. Uh, too bad you can't elite this for an additional administrator. I think this is fine for now. Um, Altfeld, check. I guess we're gonna go to Arcadia after we've been to Altfeld. Yay. Altfeld, here we come. Bye. We're already sitting on one million. Um, that went quicker than expected. Right. Ah, perfect. That's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, let's turn the transponder on. I actually don't know what the situation is around here. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do have transfers jump. Um, I just don't really know the planet layout and I don't want to end up jumping to the wrong planet. Delivered to Jupiter. Why would you deliver that to Jupiter? What's wrong with you? Damn it. Hmm? Oh, I see. The Academy. You can look at the system map from hyperspace. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I'll repair that. Uh, 
No, I'm good. All right, but we're here to sell French pit on the core. Okay, well, actually, that is not as great of a deal as I thought we'd be getting. What academy quest are you on? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I do need to buy a bit more fuel and a bit more supplies. Hmm. Okay, here's an entertaining thought. Oh. Alright, well that, that thought has just been curbed. This place sucks. Hey there, Nuxart. It's gonna be as always next Thursday. Which will probably be the last one before we dive into 1.13. Mercenary officer? Yeah, I don't care about him. Let's see... Hmm... It's like three hours per week. <laughs> it's, it's not three hours a week, it's more like five hours a week. I understand your frustration though. Ow. The pedasteroids. <laughs> ah, that's one way of putting it. Oh, hello. What do we have here? I'll take that. I'll scavenge that. Hmm, engaged in battle, you say? Hmm. I I won't be able to take it on. I'm I'm fairly certain that their uh, ground defensive will obliterate me. It is a star fortress, so they probably have like five thousand defensive forces. Yeah, I'm not ready to deal with that just yet. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, thank the fan. Fleshily dressed a woman for a drink. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Turns back, you look near your way around the jump point. Blah, 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 blah. With a spade blueprint. Bye. Why would I want the spade blueprint? I mean, come on. Sure, why not? It's a spade. When am I ever gonna need a spade blueprint? Like. I, I know if I have the blueprint, I'll never build a spade. <laughs> Generally, where there's one loot item, there's more. Uh, that, that sounds like a pyramid scheme to me. Alright, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. Hmm. This place is garbage. Alright, there we go. We've accepted it, and now I'm gonna beat their faces in, right? Ah, uh, sure. That works. <gasps> volatiles. What else do we have? Uh, just heavy batteries or volatiles, I guess. Man, this place is pretty nasty. And a contact, if you're not capped already. I think currently we're capped. Wait, hold on, no, because I'm only maintaining two relationships instead of four. Um. Ah, this works. Volatiles it is. Right away. Alrighty, thank you for the volatiles. I wonder if it's worth actually destroying their orbital station. Might be. But why would I care? Right, and we can't mess around with Kazarun. Alright, let's go to Intel. Let's check out our contacts. Yeah, we are maintaining only two of them. Let's see. Medium, medium, medium. None of them are that important, but it's okay. We can have up to five. I thought it was four. Oh, that's fine. Develop. 
God, why am I so closely related to hegemony? What am I doing? Check their mission. Do I really want to develop a relationship with the pirate though? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure pirates are going to cause me more issues than it's worth, but uh, everybody else seems pretty okay. Just dump them, you can develop and drop for free. Um, yes. Priority contacts. Let's just make all of them priority contacts for now. There we go. And uh, we'll go and check them out. Read the two for priority contact. When called veneration is a, is a priority for you, priority contacts have more missions available and the missions will be of higher quality. The more priority contacts you have, the less impact there is on each individual contract. It takes about a month for change in priority status to take full effect. Alright. Let's fix that. There you go. Mini 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 mo. Guess what? You're gonna go. We'll keep the guy with the high importance or uh, military contract uh, contact, which is actually quite nice. And I guess we'll go and pay him a visit soon enough. But develop the one, check her missions, then dump her. Uh, yeah, about that. Oh wait, yeah, about that. I I think that might be a little problem soon enough. I know, I know, I know. We actually do gotta set up a contact before we can actually do anything with her. There we go. Uh, develop contact. Just delete the bad ones. Yeah, that's gonna be all the pirates. Um really do not care about the pirates right now and that should cause her to pop up right over here what kind of work do you have for me right the latest uh uh-huh uh-huh she, she wants me to i don't know this doesn't wait a minute my brain is doing something hold on Aceron version leak Security codes, Catherine, version leak. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that will give you the upper hand in, on, in any one ground operation. Yes. Oh, I do like those odds. All right. Entertain me. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> Alright, so the real question is are pirates still attacking the uh, Star Fortress? If the answer is yes, we're gonna have a really good time. If the answer is no, we're still gonna have a really good time. Ow. Ow. God. I swear to God, one more asteroid and I'm going to punch that asteroid in its face. <laughs> uh, okay, they're not attacking anymore. Yeah, I don't care about the chip. Ooh, hello. Merge style convoy to pickets. Star Fortress. So, real quick, um, Tarsus wreck. I'm not familiar with Tarsus. Gauss cannons. I am familiar with Gauss cannons. Uh, how does this colony look? Oh, God, that would be good. South of the planet. Alright, let's quickly uh, take a peek. Oh, right there. Uh, ah, so that's a Tarsus. Huh. 
Oh, too bad we can't recover it. I'm not willing to spend the story point on it. Alright, so the reason why I'm here is because I figured... If we can quickly launch a raid against them. Hey, wait a minute. Where are my security codes at? We would need to eliminate the Star Fortress. Shoot. How does this work? Oh. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, but this does look uh, pretty cool. But there is nothing we can do with this. So, how do the security codes work in that case? Just reduces the risk, I guess? How much would you lose just out of interest? Only two marines. <laughs> uh, did you actually buy the codes? Yes, I did. Because I was kind of curious whether or not... Um, I was kind of curious how it would affect this. Whether it means that we don't have to fight the ground batteries or it means that... Um, or operational effectiveness is more effective, which means maybe less danger or higher quantities. Maybe because we bought security codes, we can get one uh, one unit of people in. Whatever the hell you want to call it. One marine unit, there you go. But I also kind of ex uh, expected it to kind of pop up right over here at raid strength. Well, that's a shame. Anyways, um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to raid this, sadly. So uh, we're just going to pull out. Yes, I was very sure it's Persian League codes. Uh, if we go to Intel, and it's probably under new, isn't it? No? Important? There you go, Persian League. Ah, having these allow for much better raid planning will reduce marine casualties by 95%. Garbage. <laughs> uh, that's a shame. Well, it, it would have been a nice attempt. It would have been nice interest. Yes. Also, um, I'm kind of curious, who's at war with who? Let's see. You're hostile to the Sindrians. Virgin League is hostile towards tri Tachon. Minus 95 casualties is a lot of experience. Alright, the issue I kind of have with uh, minus 95 experience is items delivered to Gordon. That's not shabby. Let's say that we otherwise would have gotten um, 10 casualties. Minus 95% turns the 10 casualties in one casualty. That means that we have 9 less casualties out of 400. But we had to pay like 28k for it. Which is like, what, 100 marines? No, that's like 50 marines. So we paid 50 marines to save 9. Does that make sense? Hello. Um, what up? She pretends to be punitive now. Wait, hold on. You want the okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's for extreme difficulty fights, which would make sense. I think it would also make sense if you decide to not um wait no. Yeah, extreme difficulty. Okay. Anyways, these guys want to pick a fight with us and we're gonna be picking a fight with them. Um so by the looks of it, we are dealing with a cruiser, two modified freighters, combat freighter, and the rest is all garbage. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to transfer our command into one of the hammerheads. 
We're gonna deploy both the hammerheads. We're gonna deploy both the sunders. And, um... Um... We're going to be deploying a Dominator. Falcon P. Oh god, I'm going to be under deploying, aren't I? Sure. Let's also deploy the ISS Eri. Ah, ah, it's good to be back. Alright, this should be a relatively simple fight. God, I love, by the way, the Sunders with the heavy beam cutters. It's pretty great. It is pretty great. Yeah, these are sevens. Come on, get him! Oh, it's a venture. No wonder it's being so slow. No, I hate to say, but I think we could have done this just with, you know, the attack squad. The Sunders and the Hammerheads. At least uh, we could have done it with without the Destroyer, I'm fairly certain of it. Alright, we'll pursue them. My second in command can handle it, I don't know. Send, uh, send in the Hammerheads again. Oh, it took a bit of hull damage. Thank you, and come again. <laughs> How about those security codes? Alright. Maya Sura, let's see. Right here. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh-huh. Gas giant. Ice giant. Ice giant, gas giant. That must be the one we're looking for. Damn it! It isn't. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked in, aren't I? Oh, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Alright. I need 400 of fuels delivered to Kazarin, two light, year, light years away. Do it yourself. Anything I want to buy from these plebs before I uh, annihilate them? Pro probably a few things. Uh, you do still have those security codes. Exactly. And I plan to make good use of them. Oh, yeah. There you go, look at that! I take it back, look at that. The, um... The security codes, the 0 0.05, it just makes a huge difference. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you were to calculate this without, you'd have roughly about maybe 40 or 50. Anyways, voila! That is 480 recreational drugs. Basically for the price of nothing. Wait, what do I have? Hold on. What do I have in my cargo hold? 
All oh, right, we do have like a crap ton of domestic goods, don't we? <laughs> if you'd normally lose a thousand brains, you'd only lose fifty. Yeah. But if you stand to lose a thousand marines, then you uh, have messed up a bit. Just a tiny bit. Novus. Okay, that's in the Magak. We're gonna go to the Magak next. Uh, it looks like there's a few uh, opportunities there that I'd like to exploit. And if we go to the Lost Astropolis, we might even be able to offload the recreational drugs we're about to pick up. A blueprint now the fortress. Ah, that's true. We haven't even done that at all, so I won't know how devastating that can be. Okay. Anyways, enough talk about devastation. Let's uh, wreck some devastation ourselves. All right. That is a good point, uh, Max. I almost forgot. Da da da. -da. And we only lost two marines. Oh, look at that beautiful. So get the hell out of it. Oh. oh no. Yeah, this one's empty. I just wanted to verify. We're still jumping, right? I'm not jumping, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, yeah, that did stop my jump. I actually wasn't expecting that. Oh, really? This stupid little bricky ship. Uh, once I noticed that they actually kind of buggered off, I started becoming very curious in um, quickly raiding this station. But the issue is they have a tiny patrol ship right here. So I think I'm just gonna get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Then we're gonna turn on our transponder. We're gonna jump back in. That's good. That's really good. Because we still have some um, recreational drugs we gotta offload at the pirate station. Uh, yada yada yada, buy some fuel, buy some, uh, some of that, this, all the good things, my inventory is full now, offload the medals, yeah, I mean this colony is kind of okay, it's, it's, um, ooh, military base, if I were to launch a raid, um, it's definitely doable. Uh, how much could we even get out of that? It's not that impressive. We could potentially get some recreational drugs again. Uh, we could get some supplies. Uh, but I won't be able to get away with it. That's kind of the issue here. So I'm just going to have to fly away because of this one stupid patrol ship. Freaking nightmare. Son of a fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, curse you patrol ship. Alright. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is her moment to shine. Alright, consider military options. Ah, launch the raid. Okay. Um, yeah, hmm. I think I would like some more... What's actually? Supplies? Supplies might be nice. We already have a lot of recreational drugs. How about some delicious ore? Eh. It's either recreational drugs or supplies. Mm -hmm. Nasty. 
I think supplies tend to, uh, sorry, recreational drugs tend to have a better markup if uh, certain places are running a deficit. So I think recreational drugs is the way to go on that one. But we do have a cargo space issue that I'd like to resolve first. And what is causing the cargo to be completely full? Of course, it's the domestic goods. Yep. Well, I guess I can sell 600 here. Um, shouldn't be a problem. But before I do that, my transponder is on. I definitely got to turn off my transponder. Wait, shit! Was off. <laughs> Uh, I figured if it's off, we can't trade on the open market, but I am incorrect about that. Alright. I am going to regret this. It's gonna give me 1300, 560, we can afford that, we select it, we do secret preparations. We lost 70 marines, oof. But we got 605 recreational drugs out of it. Alright. And then there's one more thing that we should be doing, which is jumping the hell out of here. So, um... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Duckers. Alright. And then there's one more thing that I should be doing. And that is sending those recreational drugs back to the pirates. Or to the pirates, I should say. All this transfers jumping is probably hurting my supplies uh, really badly. Alright. Underworld bounties. I don't care about underworld bounties. What we are here for is... Oh, that's sweet. That is really sweet. Another thing that we can do is we can go to the Tullian Raider base. Did I piss them off? I don't think I pissed them off. So we are safe to... I did piss them off. And they're going to be upset with me for at least a month. I don't think a month has expired yet. So how about we go to Don instead? Yeah, we can go to Don and then we can always hit up Cullen if uh, we need to. But Magak is first. Magag. Hmm, sweet, sweet. Oh yeah, by the way, on that notion, um, let's beat these fools up. Oh, yeah, I'll take some supplies. Oh, um, I'll take some supplies and fuel. Looks good. And we're only gonna lose three marines. These guys, by the way, sell marines. They did not. Okay, well, that's a shame. You know what? This is actually paying off very well. I must say. I mean, look at this. Oh, perfect. Ah, and we only lost four marines in the process. Alright, so I did mention we want to go to Magek before we go anywhere else, but... Hi, hi Brazil is so close by. can do a price check. Alright, contest then. Cool. Honey. Ah, we'll figure it out on the way there. Uh, let's go to my gag. I did mention before that I really wanted to go there, and that's one way to empty uh, my inventory at least. So let's lag it. 
I mean, I'm not sure if it was wise spending a story point on a uh, somewhat mediocre raid, but it still felt pretty good. Yeah, that's what you get for uh, interrupting me. Um, order your second command to handle it, just send out the kill squad, the hammer bros and the sunder boys. There you go. Thanks guys. Alright. Avoid. As much as I can. The only downside is we're now up to 1.2 million. Um, as some people might say, more is better, and better is more. Also, maybe it is actually worthwhile for us to piss off at least one faction. At least then I can raid them uh, without or with impunity. Oh, well, then again, they're also gonna attack me since we now actually have colonies. Hmm. Hello, hello. I am here to buy the finest marines that you have. Oh, I was going to say the finest supplies that you have, but those supplies are actually not that fine. That's better, that's better, that's better. Sell the, those as well. Your recreational drugs aren't actually that expensive. And that's the money I've been talking about. Wait, 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 no, we're not going to be buying fuel and supplies. Ah, I literally just sold that to them. Heavy batteries, but there is a supply shortage. Yeah, about that. Oops. Yeah, okay, well, um... I guess I can rate them for some of their heavy batteries. It's 180 of them, but if I sell each of them for roughly about 500... Oh, that's 90k. <laughs> right there. That's good enough for me. 55 marines. Okay, maybe it's not that good for me. Especially not for those prices. Oof. I should have just uh, settled. Shouldn't have pushed my luck. Disengaging from Kenta's den. Uh, that's not how disengaging works, but sure, but. Hello, hello, friends. How are you doing? Ooh, you're doing very well. I'll be taking that, thank you. I'll be taking those marines as well, because we need them. Um... Hmm. Iron cannons, iron scatterers. Ooh, a hurricane. Ah, uh, yup, yup, and yup. That looks great to me. Uh, how much are you willing to pay for these? Not enough, huh? Damn. So how is this colony holding up? Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. So, um... Okay, rate effectiveness of 60%. Ooh, blueprints. Oh, but we don't have enough forces available. Ooh, look at that. We'll be able to get an additional 300, 300 heavy armaments. Or, I can increase the amount of recreational drugs we get. Or... Oh god, there's so many possibilities, isn't there? Hmm. Kind of makes me wonder, is it worth... ...bashing on independence? <sighs> so... This is the way I see it, right? We cannot keep raining people. 
actual, you know, valuable colonies and pretending that we are not responsible. Uh, it's going to cost us so many story points. But these type of colonies are the ones that are actually going to basically be the money maker. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This. this stuff. <laughs> Uh, there's actually a lot of valuable opportunities here, but every single time we rate them, if we have to spend a story point, it means we can only rate four, 14 more times, and then basically our source becomes empty. Um, on the other hand, if I actually piss off a faction so we don't have to end up spending story points, the problem kind of becomes that they might attack our home planet, which has zero defenses. So I think I'm not willing to actually rate these uh, random places. Isn't like the penalty, uh, the impact penalty for not doing secret preparations like minus four relationships? You make plenty just raining raiders and panthers. So yeah, I think we should be doing this once we actually have a very safe and well defended home system. And then we just start picking on the faction. Not sure how large. Alright, time to find out. Yeah, in the name of science. The independents are not currently hostile, so you have been positively identified. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Guys, I have bad news. Uh, apparently, I'm positive. Positively Corona. Rip. It's over. Alright. You actually need to. <laughs> Fuck you, figures on. <laughs> no, I, th I think that the, the main issue here is uh, the transponder has been on all along. And that definitely does ruin my chances a bit, doesn't it? Ow. 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 I hate asteroids. Let's try this again. Launch a raid, acquire valuables. Give me all the heavy armaments you have. Launch raid. There you go. Reduced by five. That actually is not too shabby. <laughs> uh, that's good though. Um, just trying to raid while. Uh... All right, let's uh, let's transfer jump out of here. All right, so uh, we did pick up a few heavy weapons, which might be fun to sell if we can find a good place to sell them at. Not that I care at the moment. Instead, what we're going to be doing is we're at least going to go to. Ta -ta -ta. Did we hit Umbria yet? I don't think we hit Umbria. Yeah, let's hit Umbria, and afterwards we can hit Don. Lost Astropolis, Tolian Raider Base, again. Hmm. But it's minus five relationship without preparing, um, which isn't a bad against the Independents because the Independents actually kind of really like us for some weird reason because I started bashing on them. All right, let's check this out. This is Umbria. Yeah, that is Umbria. Hi, guys. So, Umbria, tell me, is there any of this stuff that you'd like to buy? I mean, nah, I'll sell it somewhere else. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Yeah, sure, take all of it. 
Uh, but please, take over it on the black market. <gasps> yes. I'll take that. And I want to buy more marines. They're so cheap. <laughs> of course, they're so cheap before payday. Um, auto pulse lasers. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And to repay your kindness, uh, I'll be taking it back. Oh, look. 1170 volatiles. Delicious. I guess we can hang around for a while. Hey there, buddy. Uh, are they even trying? Alright, try to acquire valuables. Now, what type of valuables do we want? I, it's, um... Heavy casualty... Ooh, that is heavy casualty losses. Uh, how about some heavy machinery instead? I mean, it's not the most... Profitable. Okay, how about there? That should do the trick. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We just fill the rest up with ore. Done. Alright, bye guys. See you later. Uh, it's a hill. Spade class, I believe. Uh huh. Yeah, that's too far away. I'm over my cargo capacity. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. That's gonna be fine. We're about to uh, reach a station. Nothing like a little bit of inefficiency to brighten my day. Uh, siddle up. I think that meant to be slide up to the security officer and see what they're so pleased about. Maybe siddle is a real word. Siddle. God. No, no, it isn't. Let's see. Um. Are filled with cases of cryo, stabilized vulnerable lobsters, nearly 100 units of doll, the officers eat like royalty, yes, but there's only so much one can take, and the coolant cells won't last another week without replacement, so she turns you 6k, uh huh, 6k for 100 units of lobsters that we can sell for 21. Not saddle. Damn words. Why do they have to make them so damn difficult? Well, we can actually sell this stuff of Cindria. Uh, I'm here for fuel. I'm here for supplies. More supplies than that. Thank you very much. I'm gonna kick out some of the medals. And none of these things really fetch a good price. There. All right. Where to next? Probably Kruor. Kruor. No. Oh, oh God. Is that the link to the actual page? Seidel. Oh, Seidel. Yeah, I'm gonna forget that in like five seconds. But I'm glad that I know how to pronounce it, if I were to remember it. Seidel. I literally have never heard that word before. Oh. Well... That's a bit awkward. I... Yes, I can sell you a few volatiles. 
I'm gonna use a few. Oh god, never mind. Bye bye ore. Sell them anyways, they were free. Nothing in life is free. Uh, very trustworthy men died for that. I think like five. Beep boop beep boop. Uh huh. Nope, I'm good without. So it's basically pure profits. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's very hard to argue with that uh, logic. Oh, speak about that logic. Hmm. None of these things are really worth that much, sadly. Ooh, high intensity lasers. Yoink. I'll take some marines. Alright, bye bye ore. I'm wondering if I should just kick out all the ore that we have. I mean... <laughs> the best price we're gonna get is 10 bucks and currently we, we're gonna get it for 8 bucks. Bye bye. Alright. Out of curiosity, they don't have a surplus of anything. Alright, last but not least is Sindria. Oh my dear Sindria. Please buy all my goodies. Command and control. Uh, go over to the man with the paper book and see what he wants. Thank you, this is fascinating and not at all alarming. Wait, hold on. I've got something that you'll find very interesting. Your actions over the past several cycles have caused quite a stir in certain corners, and I took it upon myself to look into your history as it were. Here, let me transfer the synopsis. Citrus Society, history. Wait, hold on. Did he literally just complete? Okay, I guess he just literally compiled everything we did over the last few months. Well, thank you. Um, so, ooh, a Trident Torpedo Bomber Wing Blueprint. I don't think we have that yet, but those cost story points. Now, how about we just simply throw him 50k and see what he comes up with? Maybe he'll compile a list of all the members of Cytra Society. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, donation has been made. Congratulations, enjoy it, and goodbye. Anyways, this is what I'm more interested in. Um, I'll buy all your supplies. I do not really dare to buy fuel. It's not that high of a price, but I do not want to break the price up any higher than it needs to be. We now have 800 marines, which is pretty cool. And... Alright. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. There you go. I have all my volatiles, besides like 200 of them. That is a pretty good deal, if you ask me. I sure, I'm willing to pay 29 bucks for some fuel. Oh, <gasps> yes. I mean, that is that is still a very good price for uh, supplies. And if we go to Shelsedon, uh, we can sell it again for a pretty good markup, and then we can beat them up. <laughs> uh, it's it's hard not to feel like a bully. You know, they, they ask you to please pull them up, they're in pain, and you pull them up and you punch them down into the ground again. Ah, uh, yeah. The harsh life of uh, the sector. Alright, we're gonna go to... 
uh, this place first. Epiphany. Nuh uh. Bye. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, they tend to do that. Oh. Mm -mm. Bye. You wanna fight? Sure, let's fight. No, um. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm weighing up my options. Do I piss off Sindrians? Don't I piss them off? What could I have done in this case, Max? Give up my 350 heavy armaments? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Most definitely not. That's too expensive. If they had asked for 50 or 60, I guess, but come on. Alright, uh, there you go. Story point away. Bye-bye. See you later. Hopefully never again. Never again. Items reduced. We're still losing quite a bit of money, but that's mostly now because of... The additional crew that we hired. I wonder what would have been a good way to get away from them if I had just transfers jumped. I need to clear out the warehouse as soon as possible. He sells blah 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 blah. 200 units of domestic goods, 23 per unit. Yeah, they're also costing me 25k each, which is uh, a punch in the gut. Done. Thank you. And bye bye. Alright, Ludic Path, what are you willing to buy? <gasps> You're willing to sell domestic goods for a very low price? Yee haul, as some people might say. Alright, I think I'm just gonna offload my recreational drugs on them. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's good enough. We'll hang on to the heavy armaments. Uh, domestic goods is fine as well, we'll keep those. And I might actually buy nothing. I won't sell drugs that cheap. Uh, it's... I'd rather sell them supplies. Hmm. <sighs> We can we can sell we can sell a few pieces. I guess we can sell all of it. One thirty-five. Ironically speaking, I find this actually a pretty cheap uh, sell price for supplies. And I'm not going to buy fuel, nor am I going to sell fuel. Rather hang on to it for now. Uh, crew-wise, I guess that is fine. Maybe I'll sell 200 marines. They're, they're pretty decently priced. <laughs> You're just sitting on 4k plus. Oh, I'm gonna need every single penny of it. Alright, well, that's fine. We got to sell it eventually. I actually wanted to go to Chelsea to sell them, so... Not like I didn't plan on keeping them. Right, I'll be taking some domestic goods, and that's everything, really. How about I take some nothing? Okay. Mm. Yeah, I guess we're gonna just be taking uh, domestic goods, some guns. Uh... Or organs. I rather take the guns. I'm I'm pretty sure I can, uh, no because we're currently sitting on guns because I can't actually get them sold. Like the issue that I have is we are currently sitting on 450 guns and nobody's willing to sell them uh, buy them for a good price. So if I get well. Hmm. Yeah, let's just. Uh... I'm I'm very conflicted. On one hand, I want to say like, don't put all my eggs in the same basket. On the other hand, I want to say like, well, let's break some eggs and make some omelets. 
I just want to use a, an egg metaphor, honestly. What I'm trying to say is like, it's better to spread out wide. Guns are extremely space efficient. That, that's very true. They are very space sufficient. Ah, this will do. So one thing I could do is I can basically go to the maximum amount of the... Yeah, we will do it this way. Done. Lost 40 marines. Oof. 50 per unit. Uh, sure. Done. Bye. Thanks for everything. Uh, let's see. How are those guys... Yeah, we'll keep moving. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. All right. Um. Ta -ta -ta. Shells are done. Should be straight up ahead. Okay. So. This is what I want to take a look at. So now, Nachikata is actually willing to buy them at a very good markup. It's not fantastic, you can push it up all the way, I think, to 1200, but that's a pretty good start. What about drugs? Who's willing to buy drugs? Oh, yeah, right, the Chilean, uh, the Fulian raider base is willing to buy quite a few, few drugs. What about uh, domestic goods? Um, that's also going to be the fully in Raider base because Contest then is probably hating our guts at the moment. Oh, they both sell at the same price. I think I've seen 1500 before in heavy armaments. Uh, I've seen pretty high prices, um, just can't remember what the highest is, but probably around 1200 to 1500. Yeah, they're still mad at me. For at least three months. Yowzers. <laughs> oh, well, that would have been beautiful. You know what? That is going to be beautiful. Ninety marines. Uh, we're gonna have to stock back up on marines at this rate. I guess I can kick out like 200 domestic goods. Bye bye. Alright, that probably means that these guys hate our guts as well, wherever the hell they are up here, Kani. Uh, so, our first primary mission will be offloading most of these items. First stop will be the Fully in Raiders base, which is up in full, ironically speaking. You know, what a coincidence, it shares the same name. Let's hope they don't hate us. That is kind of like the whole issue here. As long as they don't hate us, we're gonna be fine. Hey. No funny stuff. Come on. I always love how it tries to go for this really stupid point in the middle of nowhere. Instead of actual sensible points. Alright. Time to lag it. Uh oh. Actually, these guys might hate me. Oh, that will be a bummer. Hey guys! Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> All right. So this is a pretty decent price. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. It's actually the best price we can get. So, uh, whoop. heavy weapons, not so much the case. And domestic goods. Ah, let's just take that in for a moment. Oh, that is very exciting. 
very very exciting that's 800k uh that was the right call there max not selling those uh those drugs i guess i was willing to pull out too quickly yep that is the best deal we can get i guess that's shikita Ooh. she'll be our next goal All right, what can I get from you, buddy? Ah, another 50 marines that are gonna bite the dust. I'll take it. Thank you. And come again. Mostly because the big suppliers don't supply them. Uh, the issue that I quite often have with stuff like drugs, um, heavy armaments, organs, they tend to be at pirate bases or, you know, it's a pirate bases, a panthers, Ludic Path, I guess, or panthers. Um, and if you're actually raiding from them, it's just gonna leave them hostile, so it becomes a gamble. Like, are they not mad at me anymore? Yes or no? About buying illegal weapons, big drug star alert. Hey there, block, you got that right. We're also an arms dealer. We're doing a pretty good uh, job at arms dealing, I gotta say. Alright, whatever I do, I cannot piss these guys off. We're gonna have to play by the rules. Play by the book, as they say. Suspicion level, that's good, that's good. Minimal, okay, a bit more iffy. Anyway, are you still on the do random quest for Sebus of Face? <laughs> uh, what are quests? Yeah, yeah, I still am. B very high. Abort, abort. That's better. <laughs> uh, it does wonders. Let me tell you that. It does wonders. Ooh. Well. Alright. Um. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go to Nichikita. Which is all the way over here. Then we're going to go to Corvus. Then we're going to go to Galatia. Or either of those two. And then we're going to do a whole bunch of quests. I think. Let's go to Galatia first. Alright, okay, Galatia, Corvus it is. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I just bumped into the same asteroid twice, are you kidding me? Pick up quest in Galatia, then do the other two. Then pick up more quests in Galatia. Alright. So I can basically stock up on an infinite amount of quests for Galatia, but if I don't complete them, eventually I'm going to get the actual quest line. Or do I actually have to complete them in order to progress? <gasps> oh god! It's going up! And that is with an increased um, marine payment. Not just Yontar is refusing to be profitable, mostly because of the hazard pay. You can't just wait for the quest line to start. Damn it! Uh, okay. Alright. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh! Acquire artifact completed. Oh, you're welcome. Alright, yep, yep, don't worry, I'll accept it. Oh 
Okay, transfers jump. Yep. That's fine. Extract the researcher. Magnetic field scan. 28 light years away. Yeah, sure. Imprisoned researcher. If I free the researcher without payment, paying, do I keep the ransom money? Alright, yeah sure. Ask about purchasing technology from pirates. Excellent. I'd like to say the Black Tide Extraction is a story quest. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Anyways, we got all the missions that we need, by the way. Look at this. Empty. Ah, the road is our oyster. Wait, hold on. The road is our oyster. Look at this. Look at all these missions that we have. There's a bunch up here. One all the way over there. There's a bunch in the core systems. Wait, hold on. These are my contacts. Get out. Nobody asked for you. Alright, anyways, Corvus. No, wait, Corvus is next. Um, that Chiquita is next. And I wish we had transfers jump, right? <laughs> Alright. And we're on the roll again. Intercepting your fleet. Yes. Alright, color me in three. I'll slow down for you, buddy. Come on. What the? What do you want? It's on the classified mission. Okay, well. Uh, that's... What kind of special affairs is that? No, oh, I'm gonna intercept you. And then it just kind of stutters all over the place and it's like, eh, what's up? <laughs> is it because of that extraction mission that we're supposed to do? Maybe they were after the package you delivered. That package has been with me for literally years. Then again, they do have this issue where they were stuttering all over the place, so maybe that's what hampered them uh, from reaching me in time. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's good. Everybody hates Captain's uh, Star Wars. Yeah, but you only now approach Galatia. New quest intercept fleets can be a little buggy. Oh, that definitely definitely looked buggy to me. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, hmm. I'll just sell all of it. I'll just sell like 400, uh, 400 of it by... Oh, these guys are gonna hate me so much. God, these guys are gonna hate me. <laughs> what about uh, any any fleet items we can buy? Nothing. Okay. Gotcha. Ah! Immediately jumped me. Alright, come on. Bye bye. Alright, well, in that case, we can just transfer jump. Um, so, let's see. I could go to Corvus and pick up some of her stuff that we stashed away. But that means I also gotta make a supply run back home.
Uh, yeah, Jupiter Storage, don't care about it. Artifacts, Blueprints, ran uh, Ransom the Researcher. Ruins, Data Recovery, Celestial Objects, Spade Blueprints, what else do I have? Acquire Artifact up here. Extract the Researcher, oh god, that's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, contact, contacts, acquire lost artifacts. Alright, I'm trying to come up with a navigational plan here. Look at accepted instead of important. Oh yeah, that will be a better uh, summary, won't it? That's what I was looking for. The red planet, yeah. Oof. Go there one day as well. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm trying to plan out. So I think if we hit acquire artifact, then we go all the way up north, we uh, do these two. Follow it up with scan celestial object, and maybe even try to pick up the ruins data recovery. Go all the way down south to the blueprints. Nice. Technology crate. Cash, all the way over here. How's your total survey bonus? It is pretty amazing. I don't know actually. Uh, where did we see that again? Over over survey system. Ah, that's how we did it. Ah, uh, reduces by two hundred supplies and two hundred heavy machinery. That's that excessive, is it? Can't be that bad. Uh, let's see. If you have the minus fifty from uh, as well from skills. I don't think you ever need over a hundred. All right, I guess I can kick these two out. In that case, we do not need the custom exploration vehicles. Which each adds, let's see, it's a, um... What kind of class are you, buddy? I think this is a destroyer. Maybe. That doesn't matter. We need those nebulas. Nebulas, nebulas. Yeah, I need to get rid of these, or at least stash them away. I needed them earlier, but I don't need them now, and they're actually burning fuel. Um, I can also stash away the custom exploration vehicles, because we do not need their surveying equipment anymore. Even though the high-resolution uh, sensors are pretty nice. Hmm. Okay. How about the solver tricks? Can I modify their... Serving equipment. Maybe I can just get rid of the venture. We don't really use the venture anymore. I'd sell the nebulas and one of the prospectors. Oh man. Do we have surfing equipment on something like the Prometheus or Fighters? I think I have some on the Prometheus, yeah. On both of them as well. Not well, and on one freighter apparently. But that was just a very stupid hiccup I made. We're not going to be talking about that. Uh, God. Yeah, the Prometheus are here to stay. So I figured I might as well slap in some mods. Accelerary fuel tanks, militarized subsystems, augmented drive field. And then anything else that might come up, such as efficiency overhaul. 
I can always uh, change the surfing equipment to be... Alright, oh, you can remove that in space. Uh, to be long range sensors. And drop the two nebulas. The nebulas are gonna go. They they are really not to stay. Um, there. Alright. Might as well just sell them instead. 6k if I were to uh, scuttle them. Selling them is better. Okay. Wabam and wabam. And then we're going to outfit these to use uh, the high res sensor profiles instead. <laughs> yes. Huh, leaves me with like 10 additional points. All right, there we go. Yep. Looks good enough to me. That brings my surfing bonus down to pa pa pa. Um pa 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 120 indeed. Yep. So I could potentially still drop a prospector to reduce it to a uh, hundred. I think that is roughly about it though. Uh, the only one that could have it is the Epigee, but that's because it's built in. An Apogee, the Venture. Um, then the Freighter has a built-in one, but uh, that's definitely... Well, actually, once we drop the Freighter, it's down to 100. The Thresh Subsystem, Accelerate Fuel, Serving Equipment. Uh, that's a little overkill. What's your fleet size? It's a whopping 30, and we currently have 27, 27 ships. Uh, though I would love to phase out these three for um, the, the Atlas, Atlas freighters. So that will push this to roughly about 26. Um, I could drop the Venture, I can also drop the ISS Dandelion. Because I really don't care about the Venture anymore. We'll get rid of one prospector. Yeah, I suppose I could. Now that uh, one of the Prometheus have high resolution sensors. All right. Uh, sorry, pal. You are about to be scuttled. Ooh. Look at the Prospector refit. It's 75. Remove this will decrease it to 370. Yeah, we'll only lose roughly about 20. So the total uh, sensor strength goes from 390 to 370. Selling it is very highly likely, other than scuttling. Uh, ta -ta -ta, where is it? Yeah, it is better. Alright, bye bye. Uh, I guess uh, your stable is very short lived. And it shall not come equipped with any demo, uh, with any armaments whatsoever. Alright, on that notion. Adieu. Done. Um, right, where were we going again? Ayasura. No? Orphus. Well, it must have something equipped since it was more valuable than the other one. 
Um, as far as I was aware, I did not hit um, out of it. And it came clean. That must have been something. <laughs> Black market trade, that's cute. Bye. Even if it had important guns, they, they were of the small kind. Easily replaceable. That is where I want to go. Bye, Shippy. Okay, around the sun we shall uh, fly. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, there it is. Well, how much am I over? Let's see. I think I'll leave 1400 supplies behind and instead we're going to take all of this back to base. We're going to unload it and we can always pick these supplies up later. There's nothing else I can leave behind that might be uh, better suited. Nope. Orbital fusion lamp. Another hunter uh, hyper shunt tab. Alright. A, a synchrotron core. Now this is the one that... Uh, I kind of want to pick up. Ah, son of a! Ah, uh, I forgot the requirement. It's it's not allowed to be on the gas giant. Well, shoot. And not habitable. Gas giants have a different item. Ooh, well, maybe uh, I'm not completely out of luck just yet. Anyways, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be shuttling all of this back, and I'm pretty sure. Ooh, we have two funders. Adiuses, hammers. Come on, I thought I had a warthog as well. Yeah, it's not volatiles, anyways, right? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, it isn't. It's ores, transport on Okay. Uh, for some weird reason, I was under the impression that this increases uh, volatiles. I stand corrected. Hmm. I stand corrected. On that notion, let's uh, quickly re-outfit this thing to... No windows for the billionth time. Leave me alone. I'm not going to update. I swear to God. Uh, it's like the damn thing has a mind on its own. I just told like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll update sometime in like 50 years. Oh no, but uh, yesterday you said you might do it today. Oh, it's only one thunder. Eh. Have you learned both of those blueprints? Yes, I have. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> yes, and yes. I have. Then dumped on the black market. Oh, God. I will dump them on the black market. Uh, no, I was gonna send him to the free port. Wait, but we don't have a free port. Eh. The pirate blueprint you could actually sell to an actual faction. <laughs> uh, hold on. I know the right faction. Faction that will benefit the most from it. Hey guys, listen up. Guess what I got for ya. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> uh. Alright.
Uh, check the academy again. Oh man, okay. All right. And only use what's in their doctrine. All right, open com directory. Talk to uh, Sebastian. Ah, no jobs today. All right. We'll be back. Don't you worry about it. I figured enough time might have passed because um, there's a few things for <laughs> no. Ah, uh, it's a new month, there might be new quests. But I just jumped out. Uh. Alright, I don't think it's turn of the month. Okay, excellent, great. Enough reason for me to leave. Hi guys. See you later. Arvadesi. Anyways. Jokes aside, we're gonna be offloading or um more goods that we have with us. Oh god, so many storms. And afterwards we're gonna be doing some of those quests that have been handed to us. Uh as simple as acquire this or acquire that versus uh go out into the wild. And to extract this professor. Oh, are you come on! Ah, I really hate it when side storms just throw you off. I tried to slow down, but uh, once you get going, it's uh, pretty much ping pong until you uh, stop moving. How's your cute build? It's completely empty. You need to emergency burn. Yeah, I know. Which is just more reason for me not to actually fly. Uh, quickly fly through them, but fly slowly. Uh, let's see. No industries can be built here, but we can actually build a patrol HQ and an orbital station. So how about... With one of these things, we build a patrol HQ. And we'll check out Rostock. Things will be way too expensive. What about Jantar? Okay. Lemansk. Let's see how it is. Alright, well, I mean, I could potentially... Oh, I can't upgrade mining. Don't I first want mega ports everywhere? Alright, well... Patrol HQs it is. Alright, let's build these things. Uh, that was Jupiter. Yes, then there is Lemansk. Yontar. Rostock. <laughs> this, this hurts so much. <laughs> All the money we just made is all instantly evaporated already. Uh, has her pay here. Her pay there. Drop the starbase from your first planet. Oh man. Still hurts quite a bit. Alright, well, um, we'll make it work. And I was planning to go to Gordon. Might also quickly check out the technology cache to my left. During the distress call. They're pirates anyways, you know, I'm just doing myself a favor.
Well, actually, I'm doing them a favor. Otherwise, I'd have to kill them. Alright, look at that. Okay, so where does this put me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll be taking these items with me. Uh, we're gonna see if we can sell roughly about 800 to 900 heavy machinery because we're sitting on like 2k of it anyways. Matter of fact, I might, might as well just try to sell all of it. We have one additional administrator and we can also have one additional planet, which means we got to do some colonizing, which I do not have the population for. Uh, G is currently not doing anything. But, pretty sure, once we actually leave the screen... G was confirmed. Ah, I see. Um, we have a problem though. Uh, manage colony. What are we looking for? Do you have fuel production queued up anywhere? Not yet. Not at all. Uh, none of my planets can build more than one industry at the moment. Great. Which means that uh, we haven't had a planning... Do we have mining anywhere? Uh, Yontar. Yontar has mining and Jupiter has mining for the volatiles. And Yontar has it for the ore. And we also have refining a rostock, which I guess gives us metal. Well, take the drill there. Um... When you say there, we're actually talking about Yontar. It must be. It's your only mine that's not on the cast. Giant. Yeah. Mm. Sure. I'm just looking, it says like increases the ore transplutonic and organics production by three. Uh, which kind of makes me wonder, like... Yeah, I shouldn't think. Alright, let's do that. Ah, oh, but this is hab habitable. You can always... Oh, wait, okay, so it doesn't permanently consume it. Okay, gotcha. Also take the blueprints, right we're gonna have to sell those on the black market uh shouldn't be using that shouldn't be using that can't use that and of course could make profit in something All oh, right, wrong one. There we go. Mm. Yes. Wait, how many people do I have stockpiled here? Um, I could either put off core in a a um, what you call it, in an industry, or I can use it to find another planet. Because we do have increased capacity, and if I can find an administrator, that means we can uh, set up three additional planets. One, two, and number three. Or I could also replace one of the human admins with Alpha Course. That actually is a better one. And I think we have a human in... And Rostock, yep, we can fix Rostock in that case, which by the way... Huh. 
Alright, well... Sure. That's how we'll do it. I hope. That is how we'll do it. Also, it's worth checking all the bars you pass. Ah, yeah, I forgot to do it in the last place we were. Crap. Alright, first of all, Rostock. Guess what? This bastard is gonna get replaced like there's no tomorrow. You are now an Alpha Core. Congratulations. Chimney facility security codes. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem to be on the time limit. Could make high stability plans into Freeport. I don't think we have um, any high stability plans yet. I'll buy them. Oh, no, no, no. Once a month. Never mind. Decline. Not on my watch. Alright, let's uh, quickly check this out. Oh, stability 8. I take it back. I did not realize how high our stability will be. Hmm. It will go to 9 with the patrol HQ. I'm just thinking to myself, like... Do I already want to turn them into a free port or wait for all my patrol HQs to be up and running? And I think it's the latter. If it's going to attract invasions, down to 6 with a full free port. Ah, right, because these are spaceports. Or is it because we got to wait for this to actually take effect? Also, don't we have one mega port? We do have one mega port. Don't ask me how or why, but we have one. Um, I am here to manage my colony, to install an item, which is the boar shaft. Bam. That's not perfect, but it will do, I guess. Uh, it will do. Okay, uh, that being said and done. Anything I'm missing? I don't think so, so let's head. Um... Uh, nope, I put the, I put the uh, Alpha Core in Rostock and replaced uh, one of the human administrators. Then again, now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll lose our management bonus though. Mm -mm. I don't think that's worth it. I think it's better to just remain one under it and or one under our personal control one less under the maximum for personal control there we go it will save money for now yeah that's the other thing like i'm just afraid that the decrease in stability over our planets is actually going to impact or financially it's going to impact us financially worse than if i decide to appoint a governor I need to stop talking. It's not working out for me. Not working out for me. Basically, stability versus uh, 25k. High step isn't that important anymore. Ah, okay. Well, you learn something new every single day. So... Hmm. I'll probably go back. Like, 
I'm just debating whether or not I should go for the technology cache. I know that if I go for the technology cache, I might not have enough uh, fuel to reach the core systems. Uh, instability growth penalty only applies to stability less than 5. Remove the income bonus from stability higher than 5. Now 100% at stability 5 or higher. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I mean, the technology cache is not really going to do that much for me. Um, instead, what we should be doing is probably do some of the um, some of this stuff. Let's go to uh, Eos Exodus. That is very true. Uh, at least we can appoint them remotely. We might need to raid a bit more just to build up a bit more cash. Ah, try to ping pong me now, you bastards. Ding ding. That only cost us 100k. So yeah, I think what we should do is we should uh, at least do this mission and then just raid a bunch more, get a bunch more money. And at least once we're sitting on a uh, soft maybe 2 million, 3 million? I would feel confident enough to actually go out into the sector and explore a bit. Or to be more precisely, do the missions that are on the edge of the sector. Because if I'm going to be gone for 3 or 4 months, I do not want to run out of money. Uh, that's, that's only going to backfire. And that would be very unfortunate if that were to happen. Just cruising on by for the time being. Oh, we're here. Great. Yeah, sure, I'll turn my transponder on. Uh, so, we're supposed to be on Tartanus. Alright. Uh, pa 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 pa, when the signal of a knight captain, blessings of Lord be upon you. Uh, great. Uh, first, I'd like to assure you the individual of on whose behalf you are petitioning. The knights have has been treated well, though considering their crimes, has been confined to a guest dormitory and had technological privileges. Dot 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 limited. The knight flips a page in some kind of real paper notebook reading. Uh huh. Alright, sure. There you go. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, by the way, here you go. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Damn it. I knew I had forgotten something. Apparently, I forgot about the beta course. Damn. Oh, we better get lagging, right? Time to get the hell out of here. I was speaking about that. But of course, don't make that much of a difference. Yeah, it just bothers me a bit that I ended up forgetting about it. Bye. See you later. <laughs> nice try there, uh, Ludic Path. Having none of that. Alright, Kabar. Ooh, they're not mad at me anymore. Um, 
commodity traders, blah 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 blah, 100 units of supplies, accept, accept. Ah, uh, go to, wait, hold on, we're here. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh huh. Gonna keep the fuel. I'll probably sell like 200 marines. Alright, and now for a good old round of punching them in their faces. Ah, uh, never grows old, does it? So, what are we gonna take from them? Domestic goods? Hell yes. Oh jeez, we barely have any cargo space because of all the stuff I have with me. So how about we pick some of... Some domestic goods and some heavy armaments. And we're only gonna lose like 60 marines. Eh, sure, take it. Uh, 77. Oh, that's not too shabby of a haul. Alright. So I guess if we just mostly work with the combo between raiding and doing some missions, we should be able to build up a bit of cash. I mean, look at that, we're already sitting on 1 million. I mean, at this rate, we won't even have a singular uh, battle. Which will be quite unfortunate. I'd love to try out the Paragon, or fly a bit more with the Paragon. Actually, now that I think about it, the only fight that we've done, uh, I haven't even used the Paragon. Oh, bollocks. Really? That's <laughs> uh, something, ain't it? <gasps> no, not the Tony and Raider base! Oh, man. Oh, we just lost the contact. An Umbra. I would know. Oh man, I can't believe it just became decivilized. Ugh. It's terrible. Where am I gonna raid now? Ooh. Ooh, hello. Yes, 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 yes. That is definitely worth it. By the way, who's willing to buy this for a decent price? <gasps> Screw everything else, guys. We're gonna go to uh, Hyper Brazil. Hyper Brazil. <laughs> uh, Hyper Brazil. There you go. That is the place to be. <laughs> 13. 13. Ah, oh, that is such a good deal. I don't want to go to Brazil hyper or not. There's one thing that's hyper about Brazil. It's uh It's uh something. Wow, I, I have zero comeback for that. Oh, we only lost two marines. I'd like to blame it on the fact that they basically have zero defenses. <laughs> uh just 13 people defending. What a joke. Alright. Hey guys. At least then we have something good for me. Oh, they're still gonna be angry for at least a month. Well, better beat on them. Oh, son of a... This is some good stuff right here. I mean, we could have gotten so many domestic goods. Alright, well... Guess you're off the hook, Sheldon. Congratulations. It's just a lot of flying around trying to make money by uh, peddling money back and forth. Still losing roughly about 90k. Uh, that, by the way, is a really good sign. Uh, we did just increase hazard pay on two planets, so I would have expected it to drop from minus 80k to minus 120k 
But I think because we got rid of our administrator, uh, it did soften quite a bit of the punch. I hope we're gonna be able to make money soon enough though. Soon enough TM. Hello, hello, pirate activity in... <gasps> Hi guys, hello. Pirate raid, okay. What's up about this? Let's see, along with a few concerns I've put together a bounty 16 light years away. Eh. When your no exercise gets to four, uh, four, you plop a fuel refinery with a core on it and you'll start making money. Cause I hope so. I mean, not that, I ma uh, not that it matters that much to me. We're still making some form of money. Ay ay ay! Start making stupid sounds now. That is what I call a profit and a half. And we can't even take full uh, credit for it either. God, that hurts. Um, I'd like to hang on to 400 of it. Where can we... Oh, Max, buy heavy armaments. That's, that's a good one. Uh, why would I buy it if I can get it for free? This is so... One million bucks. How much deficit do these guys have? Alright. Okay. Um, they have minus four. That looks like minus four. How many units of heavy armaments? Alright, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Only 690. Ah, Don. Hey Don, listen, I wanna acquire some heavy armaments. You won't rate that very fast. Oh, it just means we gotta rate quicker. Right, Don? I swear to God, Don better uh, procure me some heavy armaments, right? Ooh. Oh? Eh. Bye. Ah, oh, yeah, they, they, they don't produce it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy it. I'm very disappointed in you, Don. I expected better. Oh! I take it back, that's actually pretty good. Gimme. Maybe I'll hang around here for another day. Well, with our new fun profits, I guess we can continue construction on our planets. Yep. Alright, orbital stations away. Let's go with midline tech. Not that it really matters that much to me. Alright, good news guys. We did it. And now we can turn all of these into free ports. Ah, perfect. I won't queue those up if you're going to explore and keep the money in the bank. I think we can make enough uh, cash right around here and uh, in the core rules to at least go up to 2 million again. Or at least that's the plan. This is gonna be fine. I think this will work out. Alright, so uh, we don't have any heavy armaments, sadly. Um, so I can't really get a price check on them. 
That's unfortunate. I'm thinking about going to Kulan and hoping that Kulan actually sells them. I'm willing to take that gamble. I'm feeling confident enough. <laughs> Personal bounty, 51k. <laughs> Are they even trying? Oh. Oh. This is it, guys. Oh, do I jump in or not? Oh, do I jump in or not? Okay, first I'm... I want you. Alright, so I'm thinking this. If I don't help them fight the pirates, the pirates keep attacking them, which causes their supply to be interrupted, which means I have more time to actually get the heavy armaments I need to make money. There is, there is a certain sense of logic to it. On the other hand, now that they're occupied, what if I swoop in, take all their heavy armaments, go to the other colony, pay everything off, and then get the hell out of Dodge before they can respond because they're in the middle of a fight. Oh my god, the opportunities are endless. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. They do have a, a battle station. Uh huh, 300. Uh huh, 700. 800. Hmm. Okay, okay. Now let's say that I were to launch a cat. Well, okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, let's take a gamble here real quick. Transponder off, then it go. Trade away. No. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, ain't it? You do have a deficit. Let's see. Is there anything anybody wants to buy over here? At a relatively good price. Nope. Just the heavy armaments. Ah, <sighs> well, it's unfortunate, but these things uh, don't always work out perfectly fine. That's okay. We still got some stuff for free. And then we turn our transponder back on. And they will be none the wiser. <laughs> uh, right. Oh my, if we go to Arcadia, we can actually buy up to 300 marines super cheap. Oh, I might actually do that. Alright, but I do want to buy until we have roughly about 605. Uh, let's just do... Uh, oh, hold on. 690, right? Yep. Perfect. Uh, I could buy some more supplies, but I don't think... Th Maybe? Oh, we'll be fine. You really need more marines if you're about to head away from the core. Let's see. We can sell some at Cheldon. We can sell some at Mazalot. Roughly about 500. Yeah, I guess I don't. But, but it's so difficult to pass up 40 bucks for a marine. I mean, that's a steal. But that requires me to go all the way to Arcadia. That's the only thing I'm kind of like, ugh, about. Uh, more supplies is always nice, so might as well pick that up. And we are completely full. 
Well, Colin is actually willing to pay pretty decent money for uh, these Transplutonic ores. But I do think this is the base price, so how about we sell roughly about 500 of them? And again, if we go to full, we can sell it for a pretty good markup. Ah, uh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Okay, no, 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 this is fine, this is fine. Anyway, it's time for us to lag it. Oh no, I screwed up. I think I might need to transfer jump. I think I might need to transfer jump. Ah, oh, mistakes were made. Well, this on the other hand is a pretty good profit. Okay. Uh, I guess I could go to Les Lost Astropolis and we can sell roughly about like all these domestic goods. Only 1100? Oh. oh, that's fine. There's only one way to find out whether or not I can get away with this. And it looks like we're fine. So he wasn't after me, he just went back home. Also, why the hell is my transponder off? Alright, I think the fight is mostly over already. Yeah. <laughs> the second I arrive... Ah, oh, damn those bastards. Second I, I arrive, unbelievable. I was being very hopeful as well that we might be able to pitch in. Well, at least they didn't get angry at us, they don't try to murder us. Um, we're also over fleet capacity, uh, we're also over uh, cargo capacity, but don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hello. Alright, so first we're gonna check out the bar. Cheap business suit, 200 units of domestic good, that's 7 light years away, don't care. Um... Alright, hold on. What about this person? What do you say? What's 4200 units of organics? Oof. Oof. Okay, well, I can't even carry that decline. Right. So we're here to actually sell these units of heavy machinery and I guess some supplies as well while we can. I like to buy your fuel. And, uh, perfect. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I'm confused. Didn't we have, like, a crap ton more money? I'm pretty sure we just sold the heavy armaments for 800k. And we're currently sending on 900k, and before we sold it we probably had roughly about 700, so I would roughly need it to have between 1.3 to 1.8 million. 
Yeah, yeah, this is after the star bases. Like, after we uh, queued up the star bases, I think I had about 700k left. Because before I queued them up, we had 2.1k, 300... No 250 per star base. Uh, we can take 3k, 300k. Times 5 is 1.5 million, which leaves me with 600k. Yeah, I feel like maybe this might be responsible. No. Uh, hmm. Well, whatever it is. Um, not a clue. That's okay, though. These things happen. Yeah, Transplutonic Ore is the next thing we're gonna be selling. Damn it, Brain. Why, why would you do this to me? Oh, I guess it works out. <laughs> Can't believe. Ah, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm just so lost, so damn lost. Well, we're planning to go to contest then anyway, so might as well uh, take this with me. Might as well take some food with me as well, and uh, I guess in the meantime we can just simply kick out... <sighs> Nothing. Oh, I guess food is the cheaper out of all, all three. Um, any chance that you sell a big freighter? No, you don't. I'm gonna have to start keeping an eye out for that. So, I did mention that I want to go to, what was it, Lost Astropolis, or which other place? Lost Astropolis was the way to go. No contest then. Yeah, contest then. That's the one where I want to go. Contest then has the best prices. And Transplutonic Ore should be Altfeld, but I can only so much at once. Uh, Magic is the better money maker at the moment. Let's go. We'll just blitz through this. Nope, problemo. 90k. Eh. Right, jump o'clock. Um. I mean, we're currently sitting on 1 million, so that's that's actually pretty solid. Oh, that's good. That actually is pretty solid. Where are you, Contest then? There you are. Oh great, this thing is near the sun, unbelievable. It'd be fun, they said, just don't burn up, they said. Uh, okay. Hello, Contest Dan. How are you doing? That's right. Hey, wait a minute. Another long range pulse laser. Okay, so what do you have? Um, hmm. I'll sell you some fuel on the black market, of course. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good profit. How about I sell you food? I sell you the organics. Everything else? That's four fifty k. And I think that is roughly about it. Yep, that's roughly about it. All right, then it's time for us to start thinking about. Um... Oh, oh boy. Um... Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good without. You just do your merry thing, you know. Be happy and jolly, and God knows what else. Anyways, it's time for us to start preparing 
for some exploration, which means we gotta stock up on the crap ton of fuel. And I know just the place that uh, sells it. Sadly, it's on the other side of the freaking place where we are. That might take a while. I mean, you know, it can't be that bad, right? Right? Catherine. Ah, cool, right. Edfeld is this one. Was it that one? Yeah, it was one just a bit higher. That's okay, we can edge. Oi! What is this all about? Oh! <laughs> Didn't turn my stupid transponder on. Oh, that's embarrassing. Sell so production slots. 99 worth of nano forge production. I'm willing to input your orders at 130 of the base cost. Okay. Um, I care about any of that. Not oh, really. Bye bye. Uh, Navarket private table. Okay, he slides the data pad towards you. We have a surplus of clairvoyant class combat cruiser in a dock. Perfectly good ship, honorable service record. It would be a damn shame to simply scrap it. 60k, you say? For what type of ship? Unreliable subsystem. Of course, it has unreliable subsystems. Clairvoyant. Greatly increase the fighter durability and interception performance at the cost of engagement range. Eh. Medium synergy, two medium energies, four small synergies, fighter base. High resolution scanners and insulated engine assembly. Uh. Custom combat carrier. Why not? You know what? Why not? I'll buy it. Thank you and uh, adieu. Ah, uh, this is what I was looking oh, Son of a. Okay, well, at least we'll have the supplies at a, rel a relatively cheap price. I feel like supplies are more common than fuel at this point, which is kind of ironic if you think about it. Bye. Oh, crap. I'm saying it's kind of ironic because fuel is a really easy to come by, whereas... Um... Supplies is mostly, it just mostly burns away. Alright, that is better. I guess... Uh... Alright, let's go and buy some fuel. I'm done trading around. So let's pack our bags and go to at least Galicia and see if they have new missions. And then we'll hit up the fuel planets. Now we can sit back and relax and uh, hope nothing goes belly up. Ah, come on! There we go, that's better. Move along, suckers. I'm on a quest, on a mission. Oh god, our fuel range is actually decreasing relatively quickly. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed. But there are still things I'm really gonna need. Um, first of all, I'm really gonna be needing some um, some supplies because we sold quite a few of them. 
And secondly, I'm also going to be needing quite a bit of fuel. Because, well, you can never have enough fuel. Ask about the instrument package recovery. Uh, sure. Ask about transporting scientists to the research outpost in Kadoimus. Okay. Kidnap researcher, cannibals, pirates. Right. VIP transport. Okay. It's this nightmare never ends, does it? It's so tiny. Uh, remember when we could uh, basically fly across the universe? Or the sector, I should say. And not have to worry about a thing. Man, those were the days. <sighs> those were the days. Alright, mm -hmm. Esconia should be our next target, then we need to go ransom a researcher, but before we do any of that, I want to hit the fuel planets and just stock up on fuel. Maybe I've just been selling too much. You know, maybe I should actually hold on to my fuel and um, supplies. Or go some of the profitable options. Just so we can stockpile quite a bit. That will be awfully nice. Anyways, I have high hopes. Uh, for a word, blah 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 blah, don't care, don't care. I have high hopes. Yes, 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 I do. Excellent. Oh, look at that. We're making a comeback. And this is before we even hit... Uh, the major fuel hub, so to say. 15 minutes have passed, 50 market transactions have occurred. That is a whole one tr market transaction per minute. There you go. Very impressive. Ho oh, oh, ho, hello supplies. I've been waiting for you. Eagerly, might I add. Very eagerly. Alright, supplies are no longer an issue, no more. With this many supplies on our side, we can basically um, repair our ships forever. But if we go to Dawn, we can also turn that into a pretty nifty profit. I think I'll be doing that. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> uh, I have a serious problem. Ah, unbelievable. Oh, sorry about that. Getting too old for this. It's like, on one hand, I'm just complaining about not having enough fuel. And then on the other hand, I uh, not enough supplies. And then on the other hand, I decide to spend all of it. Without even looking back. Alright, ah, well, since Yama is on a route to uh, the other place, I might as well pick some uh, stuff up right over here. Ooh. Eh, okay, I guess. God, ah, uh, yeah, this is insane. Oh, hold on, we gotta go to the bar. Aha, uh -huh, I need 330 units of organics delivered. Too bad. Tell, as for details, I mean, it's it's a nice ship, but... Um... Ah, what the hell. <laughs> 500 units, nah, I'm good. Alright, and then the next logical thing, of course, we do is we sell the ship. 
Oh look at that, we made 796 credits profit. Go us. Oh, we never outfitted the um the ISS Lulul, did we? Damn, and the only place where I can really outfit the ship is back at home. And I don't want to fly all the way back home. Oh. We'll keep this thing in reserve. We'll just slap on some efficiency overhaul stuff and um, it, it can hang out in the reserve pile for the time being. I mean, things are starting to look uh, up quite nicely. I mean, look at this. Yeah, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Oh. And there you go. Our tank is fully um, tipped up. Fully filled up. There is nothing else we can add to it. And that gives us quite a bit of range. Oh, oh, this is, this feels good. I've missed this. Oh, it's been such a long time since we were able to fly anywhere and back. Anyways, now that we have achieved optimal flight ratios, there's a few quests that we're going to have to do. So... We're probably going to start with Ransom the Researcher, then we hit up Deliver VIP, then we go and acquire an artifact, and then we go all the way up north and um, I guess hit key modals, or whatever the hell you want to call it. No contraband or suspicious cargo found. Yes, it's not like our tankers are now completely full. Imagine pouring like 8,000 tons of fuel into your ships and the, end, uh, the the inspector just goes like, yeah, that's normal. Nothing suspicious about this at all. I mean, our culprit, after all, did fill up their ta tanks with like 8,000 uh, tons of um, fuel. Be careful. Oh, that was that was a pretty good boost. All right, hi Brazil, let's go, let's go, first stop will be done, 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 done. I do not know exactly what our mission is at the moment here in Don, or in uh, hi Brazil. Go back to the accepted one, we have to ransom a researcher. And for that we have to be... Uh, where? In Dawn. Ha! Perfect. Ah, love it when things work out. Wait, I hope Dawn is not angry at us for what we did earlier. Hey, Dawn. Ah, look at that. Alright, so what did they want to buy here at a decent price? I think... Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, yes. That's what I've been looking for. Excellent. Take it. Take it all. Wait, hold on. Take it all. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There's something really satisfying about getting such a good deal. I'll take some Grafton Beams as well. Thank you. Um, well, we can buy a bit. We can buy a few uh, personnel, crew personnel. I mean, we do have the room for it. And next up, we can either talk to the smuggler or, you know. Okay, I guess we're talking to the smuggler. Hey, friends. Alright, this wasn't a deal. Confront. Or I trace your comms and reduce you to compounds. Ah, slack. Well, I've been waiting to use this option. Root, just root. You will threaten me like this. 
All right. Target for marine raid. Let's go. Designate the raid objectives. Done. Well, that was easy. And we only lost 40 marines. Not too shabby. There. That will teach you. Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna have to wait at least a month before I can uh, raid these bastards again. You know, just for... Uh, just to prove my point. So, I was thinking... We could use a bit more fuel. Go 700. That should do. And maybe we can get some volatiles as well. I mean, that would be nice. 31 marines, but they gave their life uh, quite... Diligently. Thank you, guys. Alright. Next objective, I believe, is Asconia, which is deliver somebody. Yep, and afterwards we can go to Maya Sura to acquire an artifact or two. Oh, intercepting your fleet. Okay, yeah, sure. Pirate raiders. Hi. Captain, are you in such a hurry? She says theoretically. Let's talk a moment about a small matter. She leans in. Can almost smell that. Oh, she's close by. Oh, I see. I always expected this to be over comms, you know? Kind of like uh, Star Trek. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> I agreed to give up the VIP passenger. Refuse. Sure. Oh, that's actually a... Uh... Ah, she leans in towards the camera. And this overcomes. Okay, because I got the impression you could actually smell her breath. You can almost smell the Astrid sweat and vacuum burn. There you go. She smells carnivorously. Almost smell, yeah, yeah, I, I see what they mean now. I think you can almost imagine it, yeah. Anyways, we have a actual fleet to fight. Um, I hate to say it, but we're going to be deploying the Paragon. Bunch of small fries. Honestly, that's all we need. Alright, so let's see. Auto fire on. Reaper torpedoes out. Hey, 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 hey. Well, we're gonna switch it up a bit. Uh, there you go. Oh, we're gonna have fun. I might have completely underdeployed, or I might have overdeployed. We'll see. I mean, they're pirates, so I shouldn't be too worried about it. Engaging. Contact. Moving to intercept. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, it's easy for you guys. It's a no brainer. Right, guys? Hmm. I gotta keep an eye out on them. And he's dead. Yep. I figured he would win that. It's because I just split up my forces in three uh, three parts. Ah, uh, damn it. Huh. Oh boy, you look at that. You really should fire those front cannons manually. Uh, probably. Hmm. I 
mean, it does make a little bit of a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, he's backing out. Oh, here comes the Ventures. Uh, how are you guys holding up over here? Looks like you're having quite a bit of fun. Ish. That's right, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah, whatever. This guy's gonna die, I guess. Alright. Uh, hope breach reported. Okay, well, um, don't defend the point. Do whatever you need to do. At this point in my hammerhead, I'm abandoning uh, the other guy. Oh, he does not look very healthy, though. How does it go again? Yeah, there we go. Ah, got him. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, sure, if you want to lower your shields, go ahead. Hmm. He's still alive, sorta. That's nice. Uh, you know, I actually expected these guys to be more aggressive, and I guess I told them to defend the point, which is kind of just messing with it. Ugh, oh, face ships, no wonder. God, I hate face ships. You know, I would appreciate a tiny bit if they didn't hang around me, but sh sure, I mean, you know, they're welcome. Besides the fact that there's a face ship to worry about, of course. <laughs> One hit, and he overloaded, that's adorable. Come on! I'm a bit disappointed, not gonna lie. Okay, this is not working out the way I want it to work out, so... Um, you guys, you just... Get the hell out. I expect you to be able to deal with the little little crap. But apparently you can't. So how about you guys retreat? Unbelievable. Retreat? I st God, I, they, they, they're even refusing to retreat. It's, it's kind of sad. Like, I figured the Hammerhead will be able to kill all of them. But he seems to be struggling quite a bit. How much co- oh, okay, I guess they're fine still, these two, the two hammerheads. It's just time is becoming a bit of a uh, issue. 50 combat readiness, okay. You're not fine. I do want this guy to retreat though, and I think he's pretty much gonna die at this point. And then, of course, there is this little fella. Combat readiness of 30%, yeah, that's, that's a no-go. Which means I probably need to call in some reinforcement that actually knows how to do something. So how about a Pirate Falcon and the I-R-R-E Airy? No! Damn it! Yeah, it got away.
They blew up a venture. Thanks guys, you're the best. All right, let's get him. Maybe I was worried over nothing. I guess once I saw the face ships, I started to panic. God, I hate face ships. So how are my hammerheads holding up? Uh, getting exhausted. That is not good. So we are putting the enemy in one solid spot, though. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> he didn't own cloak. There we go, that's one less cloaking ship. God, no, I, I don't know if I should be controlling these front guns. Oh, that was that was really sad to watch. That was really sad to watch. Alright, I think uh, we're about done here. No, I think I deployed correctly, I just messed up very early on giving them defense orders to cap stuff. I think that, that was basically uh, a real curse that I put on, on myself. It was pretty dumb. Ah, right, the face ship of course. Curse those face ships. Wait, are they retreating? Yeah, they did. They're, they are retreating. Okay, well. I can chase them down, so might as well just claim victory and get it over with. And then we'll pursue them, and we'll murder them. On the bright side, at least we lost nobody, so... It could have been severely worse. But I think I, I didn't handle that the best way that I could. Which is quite unfortunate. Hi. Come again. And that's embarrassing though. All right. Okay. Bye bye. See you later. Uh, they like me more. That is fantastic. We'll repair our ships and then we'll see if we can actually uh, buy a bit more of everything. Oh yeah, I do need more heavy machinery because I went kind of spent crazy earlier, didn't I? Speaking about spent crazy, I'm buying more supplies again. Uh, then there is Myasura. Myasura means we gotta go to the last lost Astropolis. Uh, do they pay a good price for any of these items? I think they always want food, don't they? No, they don't. They don't really care about anything at the moment. Hmm. They're a bit too stable to my liking, you might say. Hey, and our orbital stations have finally completed. Um, that is fantastic. So what else could we do with our planets or beloved colonies? I think we can always upgrade to a battle station that never, uh, never is a bad choice. We can always upgrade to a megaport. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go for a mega port. Accessibility bonus is always worth it, and we boost our accessibility from 50 to 80 with the population growth 2 to 3. Uh, yes. Unless I want to upgrade my orbital stations to pedal stations, which might be nice as well, but they're very expensive. Also, we don't have enough money, so let's actually save up money instead of doing upgrades. I think that is actually a very worthwhile idea at the moment. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. All right, let's see if we can actually sneak by or sneak onto the station, I should say. Uh oh, that's not good. All right, hey there, smuggler. Uh, this wasn't the deal. I'll turn you to slack. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, well. Marine raid it is. Alright. Thank you and goodbye. See? We're okay. I mean, these guys aren't okay. I can always use more supplies. Oh, I can also use a bit more fuel, thank you very much. Yoink! God, this is this is too easy. This is like taking baby from uh, candy from a baby. Taking a baby from candy. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to buy some more heavy machinery in the meantime. Thank you, thank you, and you have nothing. You know what, let's top up our fuel reserves and uh, buy a bit more supplies. God, I'm going supply crazy. Alright. Any ships I can buy that I might be interested in? Uh, not really. Okay, so we're finally leaving the core world again and the first place we're gonna go is Komodos. Sounds important enough to me. And honestly, I, I have no interest in anything else but that. Yeah, we can do a bit of exploration, but I mean... Do I know? It will be nice, it might be fun, but... Ooh, orbital habitat. Oh my, and Gembu. Uh, I should better write it down real quick. I think orbital... Um... Orbital habitats can also have some interesting stuff. So there is an orbital habitat in... Genu? Ah, Genbu. Also, I was thinking to myself, I've, I've written down a few locations of different stuff, like there is a mining station in Istar, there is a uh, domain service ship in Beta Ud, mining station in Elnor, did I check those places out and did I actually cross them off the list? That's kind of what I'm afraid of. I didn't actually do. Well, habitats don't have much good stuff dispatched from what I've seen. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, um, you know, at least we'll know that there's something interesting there, so... It won't be a complete loss, but... It's, it's still better to go for mining stations, I guess, and... Um, research stations. Hi, warning beacon. Bye, warning beacon. Oh, the stress call in the Gulliver star system. Too bad that I'm nowhere close near there. 
Poor guy. That's a nebula. Oh, no, no, just ignore the nebula. It's gonna be fine. Don't think about it. Oh, hello. Might you be? Oh, I see. Okay, nothing for me to worry about, gotcha. Alright, we're here! Excellent, where do we start? Alright, hostile forces, bring it. Okay, um... When it said hostile forces, I was not expecting something like that. Alright, this is what I've been waiting for. A real fight. So, what does it contain? It contains a Prometheus tanker, it contains a Revenant, it contains an Odyssey and a Conquest. I think we can take this. I don't think we can take this. Did you go to the quest system? I went to a quest system, yes. Ah. Right. I'm pretty sure this is part of the quest. Might have been worth reading the quest text. That's okay. I mean... I don't need to read books, all I need to know is how to kill enemies, how to not die, and uh, how to kill enemies. Anyways. Let's move in to engage. And slaughter them. Slaughter them good. Ooh, okay. Um. Alright, we know the drill. We cap points and everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna bring the heavy custom cruiser, uh, the hammer. I always wanna call it the hammer. This reminds me of a hammer. And we're gonna slap down on our enemy. We're gonna slap them silly. And with a little bit of reinforcements, which is what my hammerheads are going to pick up, we can deploy more people. And otherwise we're going to be holding... ...the center. Right. I wonder if I actually should send over the Sunders as well. Yes, we're gonna be fine. Look at that. Yeah, I figured it would go for those locations. Alright, let's go in our second batch of reinforcements because we can afford it. Oh. Sort of afford it. <laughs> ah, crap. So I kind of want to roll out Dominator, so we have a bit of a um, bit of a frontline that can tank. But on the other hand, if I do not take a Dominator, I can take a Heron, which is more planes. And if I take the Apogee as well, that means that we have some missile support. But the Apogee isn't that fantastic. I'll go for tanks. Also, they're two officers, so you know it's it's kind of like a win-win. Ah, <sighs> all right. Okay, they're here. Let's do this. I'm kind of wondering if I should abandon the defense orders because currently it's tying up my hammerheads and stuff, but I think it's fine for the time being. 
I know I complained about it earlier that I messed up with it, but uh, maybe it's not all that bad in hindsight. Oh, it's a face ship. I hate face ships. Oh god, I'm actually getting in his way. Come on, come on you guys. Okay. Uh change of plans for that. For that. Abandon this garbage. <laughs> um I need you to search and destroy. I'm afraid that if I tell him to search and destroy, he's going to engage them. I do not want him to engage them. I want him to fall back as well. Hopefully we can clear our backline, which will give us some flexibility to deal with whatever kind of sh crap is up top. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Ah, nah, he got away. He got away. Oh! System disruption? Oh, that isn't very nice. God, that stupid ship really messed me up there. Ah. Uh. Alright. Looks like our backlines have been cleared. Um, I'll let everybody do what they can do. Hey, why why are you showing ass? Don't show ass. Uh, all right, I I think I'm done. I think I'm done. God, it shows ass. Like, why would you? Why? Why would you? Why would you do that to me? Oh, don't you, don't you think about it, stay back. They, they really should hurry up cleaning up the sides at least. And or back. Oh man, those two are really devastating me. This is good though, it's good. Whoa, hold on, where are you going? Leave those two alone. Leave those two alone. Sunderclass is taking damage. Oh god, the Sunderclass is dead. Where are they getting all these ships from? Come on guys, pull your crap together. Okay, so I might stand corrected here. The Dominators are worthless at the moment. They're not actually defending. They're just showing ass to the front line. They're looking at the back line. This is... Oh, this is something, all right. Um... God, I hope we can win this. But I'm not very confident. No! God! Ah! That's embarrassing. I'm I'm having a lot of trouble turning this thing. Um. I just completely overshot and undershot like crazy. Uh, I think we just lost a Sunder. To be fair, on the left side. No, no, there. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm getting too old for this. 
just forget about the defense order, I guess. Just do whatever you want to do. But uh, we definitely got to clean this up. So how about you guys engage this, both of you. Thank you. And you engage it. They did warn you not to take... Well, even if they had warned me, I would have totally taken this fight. Um, the problem with this fight is my ships are being stupid. <laughs> it's not that this fight is difficult, it's just that my ships are having some uh, severe case of CPU damage. Oh god, Falcon. Oh god. Didn't you take two Merc fleets? No, it's just one. I believe it's just one. And even then, the main issue of this Merc fleet were the two capitals, and we already took care of one capital. I think that capital retreated. Uh, but then my ship started having mental issues where they are doing this stupid type of shit. I mean, come on. Like, four on one, really? And then down here we have, like... Ugh, it's... Why? Go oh, the hell down there! Okay, I, I really, personally, highly, very strongly dislike the fact that when you switch a attack order from I don't know whatever the hell it was to engage, other ships just take priority and they just bugger off. Why would you just bugger off? Just, I don't know, don't bugger off. Like... I, I did not give that order. Search it. Yeah, screw this. I'm done. So done. Oh, by the way, we just lost the hammerhead. If you don't want some of your ships assigned to orders, you have to give them something else to do. Like... So, let's say that I have a fleet, right? Consists out of 20 ships. I do not want to tell 18 ships to... I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure search and destroy is their default order. Which means that I cannot tell them to search or destroy because they're just gonna go... And not search and destroy, just do their own thing. Which means that I could explicitly give them attack orders, defense orders... Um, Escort order so two people can engage a ship. It's... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm too old for this. I'm too old for this. How are you guys doing? God, it's bright. I think that's the main issue that I keep having. Or give them a search and destroy order, which is their default behavior. Uh, yeah, but then the problem is, somebody who has a search and destroy order just decides to go and deal with the engaging thing. So what I have to do is, when I tell somebody to uh, search and destroy... Uh, sorry, when I tell somebody to engage, I have to tell all my other ships to search and destroy again. Which is pretty dumb, in my opinion. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, nonsense. Or a very small order, so instead I'd just rather say like, eh, I don't care. And because of their stupidity, I'm now out of command points as well. And, um... Enemy fleet's been defeated. Okay, great, claim victory, bye-bye. It's a miracle I did not lose a single ship there. And I think it's partially undeserved as well. Well then again, it's not my fault that my ships uh, tend to suffer from brain damage. Oh, they actually kept the Revenant in reserves. Well, lucky for me. 
And I do believe that they actually retreated this thing from combat because we got a very good uh, volley on it. Very devastating volley. Alright, well... Why would they not keep a non-combat ship? I thought the Revenant was a combat ship. A face cruiser. At least I was under the impression it was. The Revenant has no weapons. Hmm. It's a face freighter tanker. Ah, right. Well, that made that fight even easier. Well, you know, besides the fact that, uh... Our guys just completely had a hemorrhage. Alright, so, ship to the right. Mm-hmm. That thing shall die. Our missile platform should take care of it. Never mind, it's having issues as well. Oh god, just, just fall back. I feel like I underdeployed. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, valuable units left, is the problem. Uh, we'll, we'll make it work. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We'll make it work. Sweating intensifies. Alright, that hammerhead is dead. Yeah, close enough, right? Can you... Okay, no, you're actually doing a good job escorting. Oh, he's back. Back again. Not today, buddy. Not today. Come on. Come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. I know you want to. Okay, never mind. Screw you. But what's going on? You're pulling out. You're kind of hanging out. There is two guys down here which are dying. That guy's dying. That guy's practically dead. I think this fight's over. I think this fight is over. But our Dominator is getting isolated. Good job, guys. Good job. Proud of you. Oh, great. What I meant to do. Come on. Come on. No, you want to. Get over here. Ah, uh, can't overload him. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. How's the Paragon so far? Well, believe it or not, but this is, I think, the second time we're using it today. It's 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 actually pretty fun. It's pretty good. Nothing beats uh, blowing up a conquest without the conquest standing a chance. You know, this thing actually slaps capitals. And can tank. It just can't chase, in, uh, as you can see. But that's why the enemy usually has to come to us. The enemy is retreating. Sure, let them try. All 
All right, everybody, engage. Need to put their capitals for the shocker. Ah! Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. Yeah, I was hoping that might overload him. Ah, uh, no, we won't be able to catch him. I'm still putting my fate on um Oh never mind, he's not gonna be able to get past me. Yeah, he's gone. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, no more charges left. No more charges, damn it. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, should have done this uh, quicker. Way quicker. Ah, uh, that's okay. There, we're gonna slap them down one last time. Order my second command to handle it. We're gonna send in our dominators because our dominators wanna get some vengeance. And, uh. Aww. Oh. No. Could still have done it if you hadn't put your shields up. Yeah, he would have gotten in the way. I don't think I would have done enough damage, but it definitely would have helped quite a bit. Definitely would have helped quite a bit. Would have wrecked him easily. Uh, I was under the impression that that ship actually didn't have any real weapons. Oh. But I might be wrong. I might very well be wrong. And there's something you should see. Your comms officer say we received the transmission from what looks like a modified telem telemetry repeater in low orbit. It is a cry for help. Yeah, if you have too much time to set that up and you do have issues. Help us, please, bleeds the outpost leader through the thickening holostatic snow. You're only the signal that generates the pure noise. You consider your options. Rogue AIs are considered extremely dangerous. They are also extremely illegal throughout most of the sector. <gasps> Capture or destroy the AI? Ching ching. Uh, you ordered the pre-arranged shuttle packed with marines and weaponry. There is no telling what sort of electronic warfare the AI is capable of, so this operation will be run radio silent, using only point-to-point -point tight beam communications. The shuttle descends, sending only normal telemetry, the pilot speaking only routine call and response. Blah 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 blah, several minutes tick by, then crackling, then crackles into life. Backcom, mission succeeded, book secured, 14 civvies. E backed. E backed? Uh, that, uh. Perform a survey. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, there, there is three. There is actually three in the system. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, there you go. And a coded burst of frequency provided by Sebastian. Almost immediately a word face appears dripping sweat. Stars beyond the acclaims. You actually came. I am Academian Academician. I'm a, uh, whatever. Don't care. Academics. Ah, I'm a Dexian. Whatever. Ah, it's been rats and runes a long, long time. I've put a copy of all the base archives and Rinson holds up a small data chip, the little secret Baird wants so badly. Yeah, yeah, I'm very guilty of that. MP goes off like a flashbulb on your bridge. 
On the display of the planet below, all stage set to high alert. You wait tense minutes for any sign of Birch informant. There, shouts your tactical officer. The bridge displays zooms in to enlarge. Uh, it's to a small energy source that just made low orbit. A tiny shuttle, cargo shuttle, without even a closed cockpit. Visual scans can just make out a suited figure riding on its light chases. Weak thrusters pushing a course towards intercept. Done. Already no tra transverse jump, sucker. All the merc fleets will be chasing you now. Fun times. Alright, we have one more mission to do, which is... Derelict Artifacts. Oh, better turn this thing on, right? That must be new. Oh, okay. Can't remember that whatsoever. This actually shows you the survey requirements. Flicker, flicker, flicker. If you've got pri preliminary survey data, it does. Ah, that explains. Okay. Uh. Hi. Oh, we're gonna have some fun, aren't we? We're gonna have some fun. Oh dear god. Ooh. Sure, I'll take it. No, hold on. Don't we use energy weapons? Yeah, I remember. I remember. Don't we use energy weapons? I think we do. Man, I need to get some combat in. I mean, you know, all I've been doing is flying around. You do, but you also use the longest range ship. Uh, well, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just got to face tank everything. Uh-oh. I did not account for that problem. Hmm. Hmm. We can we can take this. That's not going to be a problem. But I should not push my luck any further and get the hell out of here. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Heron, Heron can join us, and these guys can sit it out because they're quite damaged. Alright. I mean, at least we get to beat on some capitals. That feels really good. I'm not gonna lie, that actually does feel very good. Like, I think that was the thing whenever we were doing that, uh, the previous playthrough, despite the fact that I had a capital, there were other capitals that would still, like, mash my face in. <laughs> not with the Paragon. No sorry. I actually feel invincible. Hurry up. Great. Let's deploy a little bit extra. Oh, that actually is everything I want to deploy. Alright, thanks guys. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, this ship is pretty fun, look at it go! Anyways, I probably should focus on where the enemy is coming from. Hey, hold on, that ship looks too familiar.
Also, I gotta be careful not to fly too far away. That'd be very embarrassing. Okay, that ship is out for the count. Yeah, he's probably gonna retreat. If not, then he's gonna die next... Uh, next fully. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. Bye-bye, friend. Okay. There's the capital. That's the one I need to be afraid of. Uh, Dominators on our flank. That's a lot of enemies. <laughs> Actually, that's a lot of enemies. I shall be fa I shall be in the center of this, not on the sides. Also, I don't know if a defense order is the right way to go here. Hmm. If my Dominators were on the right side and my Falcon was on the left side, I'd feel a bit more confident. But instead, I have this horrendous setup that just makes me want to poke out my own eyes. He has two dominators, he has three carriers. We have an apogee. I think if I at least were to cut through the capital, it should help us out a bit. And if I can kill one of the destroyers, that should give us the upper hand. Theoretically speaking, of course. All right. Ugh, one of those ships. Just need to keep an eye out on my right flank. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There we go, that's better. So, you're brawling him. <sighs> not worth it. But I do want to keep my hands on the sensor jammer because it reduces our weapon range from minus 10 to minus 6. Or I guess I should say increase. No, this, this is currently okay. This is okay. Come on. Come on, buddy. Ah! Alright, and now we casually back out. Oh, it's water shield things. Uh, Pirate Falcon is doing funny shenanigans. Alright, you want to do this? Let's do this. I can't be fighting a uh, capital all this time. <sighs> Not gonna work, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. If you don't acknowledge the problem, it does not exist. This thing is starting to piss me off, by the way. You know, fun side note. God, how long does that last? Oh, now it disappears, just when he's out of range. Hmm. Okay, well, our front lines are just uh, mumbled up. I think I'm gonna get rid of this defense order. Uh... All right, that's it. Get over here. You're going down. 
Many megatons over here. That's not good. Alright, I probably should prepare for an actual volley. There we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here. Get back here. Okay. I actually can't get him and I should focus on the rest of the fight because uh, we are kind of all over the place. We're being surrounded. Uh, I have no time for this nonsense. God, we are very far out. Um, I need to get rid of this defense order as well. It's a free for all now. Good luck, guys. Mm. Just let them try, I guess. God, I hate this guy so much. Alright. Don't come back. Hmm. Let's focus on the right side. Ah, uh, he's back. Somebody else needs to take care of that. Oh man, this is such a mess. Like, the real problems is this dominator down here, dominator on the right, and I won't be able to reach either of them. I hope if I clear out the middle, it will relieve some of the uh, pressure that we're facing in the middle. I just wish we could move quicker. This guy's the worst. Apogee. Alright, Apogee, time for you to get out. Oh, the Apogee's not gonna survive that. No, oh, don't do that. You get out as well. Uh, preferably by first going to the right. God, this ship is literally the worst around. That's right, stay the hell away from me. Alright. Here's backup. Oh god, they're actually chasing him. Oh, you guys are the worst. Falcon P is in trouble. Um, go, 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 go. We're almost there. Okay. We're almost within range. Oh. We might just make this. No? Where are you going? Hey. 
son of a... Ah, it's too late. Come on! Ah. Alright. I mean, I appreciate your hanging around here, but can you please kill the little crap around me? No! Yes! Ah, that feels good. Alright, uh, this is it. We're gonna transfer commands and I'm not gonna let those bastards get away. Now, if my paragon gets blown up, by the way, I am going to be very upset about that. And we lost our Dominator. Unbelievable. So our Dominator got eliminated by the other Dominator. I kind of knew that will happen as well. That's the sad part. Yeah, this... Um, doesn't do a lot of damage. Great. My trigger finger just really messed me up there. <laughs> Unbelievable. At least we're pretty good at sustained fire. Wow, okay. Oh great, now I'm gonna have to deal with these little shits. There, that's right. Stay dead. I'm a bit disappointed that one of our uh, dominators just got severely hurt. Destroyed even. I was hoping he'd be able to pull out in time, but no. -uh. Not a chance. Alright, we'll pursue them, we'll finish them off, and then we'll figure out how we can uh, safeguard ourselves. There, most of them are dead. Uh, you're gonna join me? Yes, I won't mind having an additional light support cruiser. I, I like the ship, it's, it's not too shabby. Don't care about the um, other things. Not too shabby. Alright, now I did mention I want to get the hell out of here and that's exactly what we can't actually do because we'd be in a lot of trouble. So, uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. We're gonna have to be patient. Ah, uh, Starliner ship is nice, but I don't really need it now, do I? Alright. Hey, Cordon has just grown to size 4. What shall we put on Cordon? Since we now have an additional industry slot. So Cordon has organics. So I think we might want to slap down some uh, mining to get organics going. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. We can also go for tech mining, but I don't really see uh, that being useful yet. I don't think anybody else currently is producing organics. It's, it's habitat social get light industry. No need to rush that. All right. Well, in that case, we are going to go for organics. Mining. 
And we do have another planet that has organics, which is Lemansk, but Lemansk actually has stack mining at this point. Oh, yeah, that was the problem, wasn't it? Shoot. Okay. Just gotta be patient. No, there's no need to hurry. You know, let our fleet uh, recover a bit. Those that need to recover. Then we'll dive back in and we'll find that artifact and we'll get out. I'm not afraid of the mercenaries there. I think our uh, fleet power is strong enough not to worry about them. I'm more worried about having to fight seven consecutive battles where our uh, morale is slowly fading, fading away into oblivion. All right, I think that's good enough. Yeah, yeah, it's look pretty. Looks pretty good. With the exception of the Heron and the ISS uh, Black Sun. Ironically speaking, he did fly too close to the sun. Anyways, we can level him up. Now, what are we going to give him? So he has target analysis. Uh, point defense, gunnery implants. I think it's going to be gunnery implants. Those are pretty powerful. But then again, so is target analysis. Target analysis will be better. More damage is more damage. What else do we have? Impact mitigation. Oh boy, range specialist. Gunnery implants or energy weapon mastery. It's really difficult because impact mitigation might work if he's flying around on a um, finger project, but I think gunnery implants overall is just way better. Yeah, sure. Uh, shield modulation or systems expertise. I think systems expertise is pretty good. Yep. That's what we'll do. Shield modulation is better. Damn it. Well. Just gotta hope that we get lucky on the fifth one. Alright, we did recover this one, didn't we? Alright, we're gonna dive in. Um, yeah, we'll go dark. If he has system expertise, put him on something else. Uh, let's see, what can we put him on? Strike Commander? Alright. He goes on this one. And... Yeah, you can go on the Heron. Problem solved. Win-win for everybody. Win-win for everybody. Alright. <laughs> That's so cute. Alright, so we're looking for a artifact. A derelict ship somewhere around here. It could actually be near Kapu. That, mu that must be it. Uh oh. Ah, I'm not afraid of them, sure. Oh, an orbital habitat. Uh, I was not expecting that. Umbra has become decivilized? Oh, man. And cancels going dark. Uh, I did not know that, but now that I know, I'm very disappointed. Oh, man. All right, well, there we go. Hmm. I 
I'm just gonna point out if it's not near Coop, I'm just gonna review myself and I'm just gonna go and... Oh, are you kidding me? That might be it. Est no, not establish a colony, get out. Back up, back up, back up. That's, that's the one. Alright, we're gonna have to do an emergency burn, and I... Whoa. <laughs> now that is actually a mercenary fleet I'm kind of afraid of. Two paragons. You know, I, I figured there is no way they can one-up my paragon with a capital, but yeah, two paragons tend to do the trick. Two paragons, a hammerhead, an apogee, a pirate falcon. <gasps> you know what I'm thinking? <laughs> that I have officially gone insane with power. I'm over here. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, hi, hi. Do this. Uh, not that one. Um, I have officially gone mad with power. Oh, this is gonna be good, isn't it? It's gonna be so good. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Two paragons, I mean... What more can I ask for? Well, I guess not to die. So, they don't really have a fleet backing them up. And since they're only gonna be deploying one paragon at a time, uh, we're gonna be in for a bash fest. Which is... Needless to say, we're gonna be bashing their schools in. Hopefully. Allegedly. Hello. Hmm. I wonder if it's, uh, you can actually cap that as well. Okay, sure. It's the paragon that I'm mostly afraid of. I can't just uh, float about and have fun uh, with a potential paragon about. But based on all the crap that's uh, arriving from over there, I'd say that we can't actually hold the com relay uh, thing. It will be a very hard hold. Matter of fact, I might just need to deploy already. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna need some actual fighters and people to back us up. Well, these three will definitely do the trick. And let's also throw in a missile platform. <sighs> okay, this is the reinforcements I've been hoping for. Alright, hang in there. No, no, don't. What are you doing? Why are you showing ass? Oh man, uh, bye. Uh oh. Uh, Houston, <laughs> have a small problem. Uh, why did I not? Uh, okay. Why did I not account for that? Abandon all. 
objectives, everybody free for all, good luck, godspeed, please don't die. Why did I not account for that? reason I thought they actually weren't able to deploy two of these things at once. Alright. Um, not sure how I feel about my left flank. I'm not sure how my right flank is holding up. But if we pressure one paragon, then we have one less paragon to worry about. Only 60 dp. I figured they first will deploy all their little ships. Okay, so I figured they first will deploy all their little ships, then they will decide to actually deploy them on Paragon, and then the second Paragon won't not have uh, th they won't have enough deployment point for a second Paragon. But I think them capping the point might have already uh, pushed them over the edge. Taking hits, but uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Whoa, where? Why? What? How? Oh dear God, don't tell me. Oh yeah. Alright. Somebody harass him. You pull out. You pull out. I can't believe that my missiles platform just committed seppuku. Uh, you go and be aggressive against him. You be aggressive against him. Okay. I love how my Dominator is over here, by the way. Um... Come on. You got this. Come on, baby. Don't break on me yet, exactly. No! Yes! <laughs> it actually worked! I've actually used the Reaper properly for once. See? Look, energy mastery paying off right here. Ah, balls. Misfire. Or, uh, poorly aimed, I should say. Anyways, I do not have the, um... Hammerhead? Hammerhead? What you talking about, Hammerhead? Okay, you two are pulling out, you're just faffing about... Did I already lose that Hammerhead? No, he's right... Why? Whoa. Okay. Apparently all my ships now are suicidal. Um, go and engage that and please stay the hell away from the thing. No, the hammerhead is dead. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Rip hammerhead. No, no, focus on the thing that matters. Focus on the thing that matters. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. Guys, 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 back up, back up, back up. Just let me do this. I'm crying out loudly. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them so much. Ah, <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. 
It's a... Why are you here? Oh! I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired of their shenanigans. Yeah, so this, this, is, this is not even funny anymore. Come on, guys. Come on! Just... Stop! Just stop. Just stop. Okay, can't can't I just give an order um, for my my ships to not be completely like brained out and just stay away from things that will murder them? Uh, because I feel like I can't. Yeah, that thing's gonna survive. All right, this is our time to shine. Let's do this. Come on, fight me. Ah, I need to breathe. I really need to breathe. Why? Don't, don't. Look. Ah. We'll make it. Don't worry, guys. We'll make it. We're not gonna make it. Well, some people are not gonna make it, I should say. I think we got this fight in the back. I mean, look at this. He's overfluxed already. Oh my god. Why? It's, I'm just looking at my hammerhead, and I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Ah, the delicious sound of... He's venting? Oh, that's a bossy move. If only I had Reapers there, he would have so, so totally died. Uh oh. Oh man. No, actually, you're doing a good job there. You should have been uh, doing a better job, and you too. Like, what's wrong with my Sunders? I feel like. The oh my god, 1% has even been up to. Sunders just aren't that great. Man, not a single ship is great because apparently all of them seem to suffer from a major case of no... no think. Oh my god. No, they've actually been doing some really weird stuff. Like, a Sunder just hangs in the back for no apparent reason. Come on! Just die already! Thank you. Ah, oh, my hammerhead is just like face bashing enemies. I mean, yeah, I do the same thing, but uh, I, I I won't trust the AI with what I'm trying to do. Don't expect too much from the AI. Yeah, I, I think that's my issue. I expect them to be somewhat uh, competent, like on a scale from one to ten, like a four maybe or a five. They're not, they're not even a one. Not even a one. How much hull does a Paragon have? A lot. A lot of hull. Oh, at least we can... Oh, man. I guess. I guess we can pay. I can uh, I can show you how much exactly. What? There's a ship tracking my movements? Wait, what? Okay. Great. I guess I should have chased them when I had the chance. Uh, Paragon has a total hull integrity of 18,000. By the way, a Dominator over here has 11,000. 
Dominators are actually very tanky. Uh, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Yeah, Dominators are cruisers. They're actually one lower tier. Ah, oh, come on guys, don't, don't, uh, you know what, yeah, I'll let them do whatever they want to do. I mean, what's the worst that we have to fight? Because I kind of forgot. What is the worst that we're going to have to fight? Actually, I take it back. Hey, everybody. How about you hang around right up here? I'm sure it's not going to be that bad. Just got to kill the Epigee again. Most of them seem to be half dead, so I have that going for me. Just too bad that my ships are engaging before everybody else is there. I mean, look at that. If I end up losing my uh, Pirate Falcon, it's because my Pirate Falcon did something really dumb. Nothing new there, though. <laughs> like I said, it, it seems to be a reoccurring theme where my ships just do terrible things for terrible reasons. Terrible and horrible things to me, I should say. Alright, let's get rid of this defense point and let's... Uh, boogie. Yeah, too late. Alright, so what do we still have left? Uh, there's some stuff coming from the front area. I think we can deal with that. Uh, hmm. Oh no, it's one of those things again. I'm pretty sure it's actually activating a ship system that reduces shield damage. Kind of like Fortress Shield, but a miniature version of it. It just seems to last indefinite. Which is really painful. What? Oh, come on! What's going on? I think I might have an actual issue on my computer where something keeps trying to uh, draw away focus. This is like the fourth or fifth time it happened today. I actually gotta figure out what the hell's up with that. It's probably just Windows doing Windows things. Damn you, Windows. Okay, can't hit them anymore. Ah. Uh. Oh, hello. So how did that just happen? Why are you not taking care of that? Why is nobody taking care of that? Chop chop, get to it. I haven't got an all day. I actually don't have all day. Come on guys. Come on, just kill. You know, it's not too difficult, just kill. Pirate Falcon, just kill. Sometimes they just need a little bit of extra motivation is all. That's right, push him down. Push him down. Yeah, he's not gonna come towards me. I think this fight actually might be over. They might very well be retreating. Well, last time I made the mistake of letting them go uh, quite easily. Not this time. No, this time they're gonna have to pay for it. Where do you think you're going? Ah, oh, yeah, you're getting away.
Ah, oh, you, you had harpoons available and you didn't even use them? Oh. Oh! Yes. <laughs> yeah, he did have harpoons available. Alright, we did it. Big win, everybody. Ooh, hold on. Alright, so this little bastard has been arresting us everywhere. Um, from behind, from the front. Just been a general pain. Putting an end to him is going to be very sweet. Very satisfying. There he is. Oh, I hope he realizes there is no way out. Ah... Uh. But yeah, um, I think the problem is, last fight, I didn't actually get rid of everybody. I just uh, reset or claimed my victory whenever I could. There we go. And as a result, like, half the enemy fleet from our previous fight just joined this fight. That's why so many of them were beaten up. Alright, pursue them, order my second command to handle it, and uh, I, I guess we can send in... Oh god, these things are barely alive. Whatever we need to send in. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Alright, claimed our victory once more. I've shown those pirates uh, who's the boss. In this case, us. And now we can finally do what we've been wanting to do all this time. And. Do I really want to go there? Do I really want to go here? All right, yep, let's do it. Yeah, I think those were the three worst fleets that we had to deal with. Uh, the capital fleets, the rest seems to be uh, kind of meh at best. And dealt with, we did. That feels very satisfying, satisfying being able to uh, uh, punch those fleets into oblivion. I just wish my ships weren't uh, challenged. Like, I think the worst part of all is at one point there was this one ship that was behind us, and both my dominators, instead of looking towards the front lines, they looked towards the back lines. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. Especially if the enemy is uh, relatively close. When I say relatively close, what I'm actually saying is uh, when the enemy is relatively... When the enemy is in our face. Why you use frigates. Yeah, but that's kind of like the issue. Um, I was using frigates, but one of the ships managed to slip through. And at that point, it's just... Fingers crossed, I guess. So the hope for the best. Wow. Oh, Connie is also... Wow. Hmm. They work for the AI for the same reason they work for you. I guess you're right. I mean, while we're here, I might as well pick up a few survey targets, right? And while we're here, we'll go up, down, we'll hit those, we'll hit them in the pattern, and then we're, we're out. Let's make it nice and quick. But it will be one of those moments where I'd rather have my, uh, my Dominator show as to uh, whatever is flanking us compared to whatever was in front of us. Uh, well, guess I can't always have what I want. Which is everything. Uh, 
man, I can like I have a feeling that all this raiding is causing a lot of planets to become decivilized, which is quite a shame. Quite a big shame. Like, at, <laughs> at some point I'm just gonna return to the core world and find that all the pirates and all the Ludic Path people are gone. Ah, uh, that will be very depressing. For me at least, because that means I gotta find new raiding targets. Oh, hello mining station. Ooh, what's that? Soil nanites. Let's see. Installed in farming. Requires no transplantonic ore deposits, no volatile deposits. Increases farming production by two. Oh, that's cool. We might be able to use that on our uh, on Cordon. But I'm not entirely certain if Cordon actually does or does not have... Um, Transplatonics, I don't think it does. I think it only has ore. Ore deposits. It's the wrong key. That's another reason why I want to explore. I want to find all those uh, nifty little things. That we can, uh, can slap on some of our industries. They're pretty cool. Right, I think that is about everything we're going to be finding around here, so um, the best thing we can do for now is finish these things and leave this nebula. I think it's still pretty cool there are certain nebula systems without the sun. It's a little bit different and different can be fun. Alright, construction on Cordon is done. Alright, last system. Oh. Oh my. Uh, Alright, a bit of a debris field. Ah, uh, right. What is our next target? I think it was Denta... Denta Lion. Or was it Basmate? Yep, Dentalion. Never mind, uh, it's a um, uh, uh, We'll do something different. We'll do something different. Always check all the systems on our way there. Oh man, that would be a good possibility. <sighs> I'm pleased that I didn't read the quest text. Should have read them quest text. So it turns out that whenever I opened the ship and I checked it out, um, the power core was already taken by uh, smugglers or whatever the hell they were called. And instead, they're hanging out at the nearest jump point. What I did instead is I just lagged it and I just got out of there. So we don't actually have the energy source, we still have to pick it up. Uh, oh, I deserve that, I guess. Must be that jump point. <laughs> there we go, that's my friends. Hey there, buddies. Alright, you found something I need. Let's make a deal. 
14k? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, we now have the artifacts. And now turn in the artifacts. Custom production order, technology cache, blueprints, blueprints. Oh man, that did mess up uh, my pathing a bit. Uh, what we could do is we can go check out the nebula, I guess. We've never been to Delta I Black Hole. Wait. Which planet did we miss? Oh, I see. Alright, we can take a quick peek and then get the hell out of here. And well, bam, perform survey, and everybody's happy. You also missed the derelict ship. Crap, right? And we're going back. That'd be a good one. <laughs> I know it's not gonna be a good one. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Let's uh, let's get out of here. It's it's a it's a kite, and we have to emergency burn into the sun. I can go tap, tap, tap. Replace the relic ships always have some, a chance of something good. Like a... Ah! Oh. Well, I, I guess next time we return to this system I should totally pick up the chip. Ah, oh, no. Let's just, let's just go back again. Let's go back. I'll be doing this the rest, the rest of the day. Uh, well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. It actually wasn't too bad, we didn't have the emergency burn, so I guess uh, that's a small win. You gotta look at the bright side, right? I mean, uh, the dark side, not the bright side. That's too much sun. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Alright, so, a few derelicts, you say? Interesting enough. It means there must be something good here. So, one, two planets. I already surveyed one planet. Something tells me that there is a reason why I left. Just flying to someone tonight. <laughs> uh, I still love that reasoning. Uh, wasn't there a? Uh, I would I would like to call it a hoax news or article about Kim Young Sun going to the sun and he didn't burn alive because he went at night. Always a good meme. Done, done, and done. Excellent. Uh, I guess we can take a quick sweep around, see if there's something that we uh, could potentially pick up. Oh, that's ours. Oh. Oh my, look at that. We're actually making profits finally. We're down to 61k uh, net negative instead of the... What, what, did it, what was it used to be? Like, minus 90? Oh yeah, because Rostock and Gordon finally are turning a profit. And... Well, let's see, what did we acquire? Just a bunch of garbage. Garbage can be nice. Alright, one of those two things is an actual thing. 
Wait, one of those things that's chirping must be an actual thing, right? Yeah. No, 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 they're both fakes. They're all fakes. Fake, fake, fake. Getting the hell out of here. Alright, on to the nebula. Hmm. Oh god, this is gonna be spread out all over the place, isn't it? Okay. So let's uh, quickly come up with a plan here. We can hit these four, followed by those, grab that cluster and move all the way down. And this will be the last one we pick up. Let's see if we can identify some of the stuff that seems to be floating around. There's also a pretty decent chance that some of the stuff is going to be hidden in this nebula garbage. Oh. Um, hello? Avoiding contact. Okay, that's cool and all, but you have an explanation mark above your head. What's up with that? <laughs> oh, poor guy. I, I just realized what's up with that. Uh, this this is a uh, bounty. Personal bounty. Yeah, go ahead, kill him. Here, send in the, uh, the death squad. Mission success. I don't even know if it was worth anything. But beating him up was definitely worth it. Alright, but um, I'm having a hard time distinguishing fake signals from real signals and planet signals. Oh man, that's a pretty beautiful planet. Too bad it's in a pretty bad system. Lamansk has grown to size 4. Alright, so Lamansk over here is now officially size 4. It was one with back mining, not sure how I feel about it. But there's a few other possibilities that we can do as well. The system is habitable. Um, common organics, moderate ore deposits. Maybe we want to put down another mining facility. That might be a possibility. But we already have something that supplies mining, so maybe light industry? Maybe. Then again, we're sitting on 800k. Maybe I should patiently wait and do this at a later time. So we don't go broke while we're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, we finally have a Ludic Path now active. Oh shoot. Uh, we'll hit one down south and then we'll go up north. This must be fake, right? Yeah, that's fake. It's either the planet we're going to, or it's a fake. We'll know about anything else, but uh, I'll turn off my uh, transplutonic... Uh, my volatile scanner, for the time being. My neutrino detector, there you go. Just gotta zoom in. Uh, don't think anything really stands out. Yeah, we're fine without. Let's just keep going. 
Oh, by the way, I understand the itch gum. Uh, the XCOM itch is becoming, it's becoming worse. It is actually legitimately becoming worse. And she'll have never played the game. Damn you. Fake, fake, fake. Alright, well, I think uh, that concludes this. It didn't actually contain anything interesting whatsoever, which is quite quite sad saddening, honestly. But uh, we still got some good pr um, survey data out of it. Yep. I played really sloppy yesterday though. Yeah, I missed that one as well. I, I was asleep at the time. I, I went to KO so damn quick. Just getting too damn old, man. But what I most likely will end up doing is for the sake of actually, you know, not hurting myself and my own chances, just play the game on normal instead of hard. Like, hard is a nice challenge, but I think somebody with the uh, inability to do tactics, you know, someone like me, it's, it's just not fair. It's just going to result into me not being able to beat the game. I guess what we can quickly do is a uh, circle around the sun, see if there's anything interesting we may or may not find. Anything? Nothing. Nada, yet we're coming up empty. Okay. Well, I guess we should be going to the sun and doing a quick radio, uh, quick sensor ping. And ping. All right, we're good. Bye bye. I'm out. I am out of here. All right. So this is what I'm thinking. Uh, we're doing a little bit of exploration up here. Uh, too bad I didn't check out Badasari. That might have been interesting. I'll probably check out these systems down here. These two, these three, and then uh, hit up Delta I. I. Right, right, successful. Colonies in the Buyon star system have been raided. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> well, so much for the patrol HQs. I didn't even notice that they were planning to raid me. Oh, crap. Ooh, Ludic Path, you say? Catch me the expedition to Corden. Use your connections? But bribing them nowadays will cost you an action point. Uh, I, um... Skill point. A story point, there you go. Well, let's use our connections. So no more bribing. Hello. What do we have done here? That wasn't an AI inspection. Ah, okay, that explains. Are you buying anything? 
selling anything. I'll buy that. Buy that. That sounds uh, good to me. I guess I can sell you most of my medals. Don't really care for them. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, by the way, I'd like to do that on the black market. And some on the open market. Alright, thanks guys. Very much appreciated. Now I'm gonna beat your face in. Which, again, I still very much appreciate. Casualties? Minimal. Oh yeah, that's... Mm. Let's go. Ah, that's better. Alright, I guess we can hang around for a while. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wow, uh, they're, they're pretty forgiving. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's do this again. Fifty-one marines. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the kill count is starting to rake up. It's starting to build up. All right. How about one more raid? How how does that look like? Let's see. Moderates. Fifty-five marines. Uh, um. Go fifty-five. I'm willing to take one more, sure. 72, okay. Anyways. It's time for you to die, my friend. Um, I, I do think we can simply do this with one Paragon, so uh, let's, uh, let's blow him up. Done with it. It's just gonna take us like... Forever to arrive there. All right. Hello, station. Don't mind me, just passing through. Just passing on through. Jeez, how long is this gonna take? Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, I wonder if I made a mistake. Just bring my Paragon and nothing else. Surely that's not gonna be the case, right? Ah, oh, come on! You bastards. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. So I should first prefix it with a... Um, any day now. Any day now, come on. Okay, I might have made a tiny mistake. Alright. We'll just quickly vent. I'm sure they won't mind. Alright, let's finish it.
Come on, guys. Come on, just just give up. Just give up. It's okay. It's okay to throw in the towel. We understand. Thank you. Yeah, I know the fact that they're not uh, that great for sustained fire does make it a bit painful. Let's see if I can use my point defenses as well. Just a bit closer. Just a bit closer. Yeah, that's more like it. Look at that. Full fire ahead. <laughs> yeah, high intensity lasers. They always do wonders. Alright, well, thank you, Station, for all the goods that you provided to me, and good riddance for all the trouble you caused me. It was a pleasure doing business with you. I think uh, once we're back, we can also re outfit the Paragon, because we now have, for example, wait, do we even have Tachin London? Lances, Tychon? Ah, yeah, whatever. Those, those things. Let's go bzzp. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And bye bye. Oh, great, now Jupiter is also being bothered. Wait, hold on, that means that Jupiter actually uh, leveled up. Uh, grew in size. Which means we have one additional industry we can exploit. Uh, I, I guess heavy industry in that case. What about fuel production? No, no fuel production, not here. Mm. Oh, haha! <laughs> Just kidding, we can't afford it anyways. <laughs> Always forget. Oh, we're, we're pretty broke. Hey! Okay, you're backing off. Oh, that's fine. By the way, the Battle Brothers itch is becoming uh, very noticeable. I mean, it's a pretty good game. It can be quite entertaining. Alright, who wants to fight? Oh, don't tell me. Uh... Um, Intel boards, bounties, oh, just a 70k bounty, context, story, storage, oh that's cool, I like that, markets, alright, uh, I can't say no to this. I can't say no. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's gonna be fun. This is going to be a blast. Alright. And I really should uh, outfit this one as well whenever I have the time. And we'll get a uh, epigee. Alright, I want us to hold this point. Hammerhead, grab that. Sunder, grab that. Sunder, go over there. Hammerhead, go over here. Weeboo. Elysium's fleet. Whoa, 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 Elysium. This is the Paragon fleet. Oh, actually. Um, fleet with the Paragon. <laughs> uh... Anyways, this might actually be, turn out to be quite gnarly because the enemy is plentiful and they're not particularly small. But the pirates. And uh, you know what they say about pirates. Well, they're pirates, they're kind of joke. Yep, funny joke. Just 
Just hope no bad things happen to these guys. Come on. Don't do this to me. Where you go? Guys, seriously, if you actually back up a bit, he will be like right in my firing line. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, never mind, he's too far away. Good job, Sunder. You balls that up. Um, anyways, I probably should be taking point right over here, so let's get moving. Shields up. Away we go. I hope there will not be a problem with CR, otherwise uh, we might be in a bit of trouble. But they're quite squishy. All we have to do is just survive. And if you're lucky enough, you can actually hit them while their shields are up. <laughs> oh, by the way, we did get some extra deployment points and I do want to use those if I can. Not that guy, and I do want to deploy my own Pirate Falcon. Come on. Alright, just gotta be careful I don't overload myself here. And we should be uh golden. Oh, great. Lowered my shoots a bit too quickly. Haha, <laughs> that was perfect timing. Uh, Alright, so how are we holding? Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Hello. So we have an Atlas over here, which is slightly unfortunate. This thing's about to die. We're here. We probably should be hitting these guys. Alright, I'm gonna release them of their defense order. And it's a free for all. Good luck, guys. Tell me. What the hell was that sound? Sounds like a cat. Oh, I don't think there is a cat in my headset, as it seems to be uh, coming from my headset. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hello, hello, get over here. That's right. Oh god, I don't hope there's a cat in my headset. That would actually be pretty bad. Oh, there we go. It does help if you actually target what you're trying to kill. Turn a bit more, turn a bit more, and he's dead. Oh god, they're so squishy! Like, these are the type of- ooh, hello. Isn't that a, uh, battlegroup variant? Mark 16, yes, yes they are. Like, these, these fights are actually quite fun because you, you're just obliterating the enemy. Ah, 14, right, yes. guy. Alright, 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and he's dead. Okay, now he's dead. Ah, I suppose for the mount a good beam weapon instead of the magazine. Yeah, yeah, it is. But it also kind of depends on how much energy you consume, uh, how much flux. If I put something on there that's very flux inefficient, then well, I'll probably be killing myself. Let's be let's be realistic here. Besides, this is actually really powerful in bursting shields and overfluxing enemies because of the rapid fire effect. Just put tight lenses with effect, uh, advanced optics, touch on lenses. Yeah, that's I think what we're going for. Uh, so, all right. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, that just happened. All right, turning, turning, turning. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Okay. So what's left? Oh, I mean those crap ships. They're not retreating yet. Surprisingly enough. Oh, they they got this. They don't even need my help. Bye. Bye guys. See you later. But what's still left? Well, then again, I'm looking at the well. The venture's gonna die. Oh, the Pirate Falcon might be a problem. Nope, never mind. He's pulling out. Wait, it's over. It is finally over. Yeah, I saw that. It basically has no CR whatsoever. Surprised that they're not actually pulling out. Hmm. We used to. Actually, no. Go keep going. Keep going. You can do it. And I think so that. There's no auto retreat. With Oh, I'm, I must have gotten really used to mods in that case. Damn. So I've gotten really used to mods. Alright guys, come on. That's it. We got them. The venture is ours. Take over the venture and burn drive. Why? We're almost in range. That's all that matters. Ah. All right. Ah. <laughs> ah. Nothing beats beating up. Uh. Then Atlas's Mark II's always makes my day. Alright, order my second to command to handle it. We're gonna send out a whole bunch of junk and voila, they're all dead. Now we can recover these, but I don't care about them. I do care about the goodies that they hold inside of them. Oh, delicious. Oh, hold on, we're quite over encumbered. Um, bye bye Transplutonic Ore. Bye bye Domestic Goods. Well, actually, Transplutonic Ore is worth more than domestic goods, but like it really matters because what am? Guess what? We're over encumbered again. A 
Couldn't serve it, you say? Well, let me just fix that. Wait, what's that? We leveled up? Oh, sweet. Okay, so there's a few options we can take. We can increase our point defense. Um, we could potentially loop back and go for bulk transport. Hmm. But increases the burn level of all non-militarized civilian grade ships. Eh, don't really care about that. Wasn't level 15 the max. So I've installed a mod that allows you to keep on leveling on um, exponentially until level 40. Tech 3 is ECCM, right? Let's see. Tech 3 is ECM. But yeah, I think that is ECCM. Uh, all every deployed ship grants to ECM rating of the fleet. Hmm. Might be worth it. Uh, the problem with industry is it gives me bulk transport, which I really don't need at the moment. Um, the burn level increase of all non-militarized civilian grade ships is nice, but I don't think I'm kept by that at the moment. Uh, then we have damage control. It's pretty nice as well. But not really that that important. Afterwards comes containment procedures. Reduces fuel consumption and more fuel scavenge. That's pretty good. And the emergency burn ability no longer reduces com combat readiness. is really powerful. But that requires us to at least spend three uh, points on it. Whereas, for example, electronic warfare is one point and you already get something pretty good. Which is uh, every deployed combat ship grants point... Uh, 2% to the ECM rating of a fleet. But the total ECM rating for deployed ships of both fleet is compared and the losing side's weapon range is reduced by the difference up to a maximum of 10%. Does not apply to fighters, affects all weapons including missiles. But basically if our ECM rating is high enough then the enemy has a shorter range which means we are more likely to outrange the enemy. Um, point defense, don't really care about face mastery and then we have this. Uh, mm. One day, one day we'll pick up leadership. Death rating is at leadership too. Take that. Um, pa pa pa. All right. Then we'll take coordinated maneuvers. Wait, hold on. But this is only for frigates and destroyers with officers or us. So since we're not flying a frigate or destroyer, this doesn't apply to us. Because when I assume that they say including flagship, they're talking about all frigates and destroyers, and then officers including the flagship. As in, this also applies to you if you're flying your own frigate or destroyer. Hmm. Wait, hold on. All frigates and destroyers with officers, including the flagship. Yeah, sure. Also applies to your officers that are flying frigates. Ah, I see. Alright, confirm away. That actually is pretty good to have. Uh, where the hell are we? Wait. Oh, we're all the way down here. I mean... You're a lemon in chief. <laughs> uh, I'm a very sour officer. 
tons about right. So I feel most of the time. Alright, so this place looks empty and deserted. Nothing of interest ever happens here. And now let's not fly too close to the black sun. Alright, no, oh, I got all my information I want. Let's uh, transfer jump right on out of here. But you would actually need to have a few officers with frigates and destroyers. Well, good for me, because I do have a few officers with uh, destroyers. Luckily. What happens if you fly too close to a black hole? Well, um... I can tell you from first-hand experience what will happen to you. Alright. Hi. I mean, I know that there will be enemies waiting for me. I just didn't expect three entire pirate fleets. I'll, I'll take it, though. I'll take it. I'm, I'm getting too cocky. That's the problem here, Max. Uh, but if you fly too close to a black hole, it will slowly but surely destroy you. Uh, you'll start to take, I think, combat readiness damage and then hull damage. Uh, yeah, I can deploy them. Oh yeah, it happens very rapidly. Right, you grab that, you grab that, and we will hold this area. Come on, move your fat ass! Wait, hold on, I'm actually slower than him. Never mind. Carry on. So I did deploy some ships with uh, suboptimal combat readiness, and I was willing to do that because we're gonna make this fight awfully quick. We're gonna go in, we'll kill them, we're gonna go out. Oh my god, how how are you slower than I am? Aaron. I'm disappointed. Alright, let's uh, deploy some extra ships. So I was thinking we do need a buffer. Um, missile platform. And the Apogee. The thing that I like about the Apogee is it swarms missiles, which is a great way to keep enemies distracted and busy. And it doesn't instantly die whenever it sees something. That usually is my magic, uh, magic combo. Does something and doesn't instantly die. Presumably. Well. Case in point. What are we uh ha 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 that's a few of them. Imagine in the midst of combat, there's this tiny ship that just uh, knocks your ship, of course, right in front of the enemy. God, I'd be so pissed. And dead. I'd also be very dead. By the way, I really love how we're currently at zero flux. <laughs> Oh boy, these ships are pretty hard to hit. Combat readiness will decrease soon. Uh, how about you go and kill that? How about we abandon defending that area and we abandon defending anything? Mm, we should focus on these three. Also three ventures, we also need to focus on them. So I should let the stuff on my left side go and we'll focus on what's up here. I think that's the stuff that I really need to, need to be afraid of. Well, uh, afraid that it might actually cause some harm.
Alright, fine Pirate Falcon, I'll pay attention to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, we're being hammered pretty hard here. Um, yep. Actually gonna back out. Okay. Oh no 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 no! What what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh god! Oh god! He's having issues. He's having issues. Oh no 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 no! What are you doing? Stop that! Well, actually, he can armor tank. What am I panicking about? Oh god! That wasn't the invitation. <laughs> that wasn't the invitation. Damn it! Actually, I want to go for the freighters. Uh, I hope everyone else is doing better than we are. Very nice if they were. Autopulse only. Uh, we've been meaning to replace the autopulse with at least the Titan lens, but we haven't had a lot of luck finding some. So we've been making do with uh, autopulses. But, you know, having better frontal weapons will definitely help out quite a bit. The large turrets seem to be empty. Uh, they shouldn't be. So we have two of these things, god knows what they are. I think they're plasma cannons. And we have two autopulses. Now you see it, and now you don't. Oh, oh my, okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. It's right, wait, hold on, where's my heron? Go kill that. Uh, we'll sweep to the right. We'll just clean this up. Shouldn't be a problem. Those should be on the front mounts. Hmm. Definitely could try that out. But I think we would need to put a few different weapons on here as well. And we can experiment a bit. See what will be better. Oh great, speaking about what will be better, there's more of those guys. Please don't kill yourself. Please don't kill. Oh, what have I done? Eh. Alright, I will not be able to catch the guy down below. It seems to be backing up. Yeah, damn. My volley was too late. Alright, he's gone. Damn! I'm, I'm just not too used to uh, slowly turning. I tend to underestimate how long it takes me to actually get in position. Oh no, Dominator, what you doing? Alright. A bit more. There we go, that should do the trick. Well, that should have done the trick. Right, hammerheads. Uh, oh. Oh my. Um. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Remember that, um... That cluster that I talked about that I then ended up ignoring because I went north, well, that just uh, punched a gap. Alright. I know where I need to go. Slowly but surely. Oh god, Heron. Alright, well, if we can clean up and hold the left side, then uh, I'm pretty sure the rest is gonna be A okay. Ah, uh, it's a Pirate Falcon again. Anyways, uh, I, I need to ignore them. This is this is what needs cleaning up. Well, damn, this thing can tank some hits. Harry, what's going on, Harry? That is not damage reports I want to hear. Okay, you're fine. Hammerhead is not really fine. I am not really fine. Oh, hold on. Alright, come on guys. I really want this thing to die. <laughs> it's dead. Alright, you're next. Okay, never mind, you're not next. You're backing out. Uh that hammer is at 27 RC. Yeah, it needs to be pulled out. Um uh, Alright, we have a real problem on our hands now. Okay, so the right side is kind of cleared up, which means we gotta focus on the left side again. And quick. Alright. Oh no. Turn quicker. Nice shooting. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, I know I'm going to be pretty badly outgunned and there's not a lot of point control that I can do at this point because for some weird reason... Oh, we can't simply hold a flank. It's really devastating. It is really devastating. I have no reinforcement points to call in. I think the problem is, if you're relying on holding points and the AI being able to hold your own, well, then you're basically setting yourself up to uh, get completely annihilated. Yeah, I tend to have two fast frigates as well, but my frigates, well, my ships in general tend to have serious issues surviving and doing useful things. Oh boy, and now I'm gonna get hammered. Yeah. Well, this is a disaster. It's a real disaster. And there's nothing I can do about it. Really, nobody's gonna finish that. So we'll finish it for them. Oh, come on, turn faster. Turn! Turn, damn it! Oh, we're so outmanned and outgunned. How are you going to get. 
All right, you're right. Let's let's just let everybody do their thing. Um, basically, at this point, there's not a lot we can do. Uh, these three are unkillable because apparently nobody actually is bothering to kill them whatsoever. Uh, the Pirate Falcon is not really performing. Um, then we have the Dominator, which seems to be quite stagnant. And, well, here we are. I was asking what you're going to get. Yeah, it's 20 points and we're at minus 40%. Uh, it's mostly about trying to wrestle back some control. Oh! Guess this is all I can really reliably get. Come on. Come on, fight me. Ugh. Epigee, cut. Don't charge in, you idiot. What would the com relay get you? 40? Wait. Let's see. Com relay is 40. Nuff Buyan is 20. Wait. Yeah, 20. I was hoping because we were close we'd be able to actually uh, grab something from it. Now you should be retreating. But it looks like uh, we aren't that lucky. We weren't able to wrestle control. Right, this is my time to vent. Well, actually, I've been venting this entire time. Oh god, what are you doing? Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. No, I should have faith. We should focus on the things that matter the most. How many ships do they have in reserve? Probably too many, if I had to guess. Uh, I should try to rely more on strike squads. I always don't give enough credit to my hammerheads. Mostly because they've been underperforming as of uh, recent. Okay, that is the site cleared up. The Heron is gonna have to pull out. Why did you guys all of a sudden stop your attack order? You know what I'm asking of you. And if we swoop up, we can probably annihilate most of the resistance we're having to deal with. Oh god, we're in so much trouble. So I think the problem is um, I became too cocky here and um, I didn't do a good job at front tanking. If I had done a better job at front tanking, uh, probably the enemy won't have broken through as badly. Oh great, yeah, good luck trying to kill that. Then the AI take all the points. Uh, the enemy fleet has been defeated. Excellent. Bye-bye. Claim victory. Yeah, I mean... So, from my experience with the last three battles I've done is, if I split up my forces, especially the frigates, the Hammerhead and the Sunders, they just kind of fly around. They don't shoot back, they don't really do anything, they don't really kill anything, and that kind of makes them a waste of points, because they can't even hold on to the point. They just let the enemy take control of the point as they're trying to skirmish the enemy. So at that point it really just becomes a uh, quick grab and hope that we can deploy an overwhelming force to keep the enemy at bay. Which didn't happen in this case. Didn't happen. Wait, you want to have a second round? Uh, okay, I guess. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Uh, what else can I quickly deploy? The Sunders aren't gonna work out too well. Well, it's all I got. It's all I got. It's better than the Hammerheads, which have been uh, 
completely trained. Yeah, they're not good. They should be able to win that. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna just uh, straight up kill them. Straight up kill them. Ugh, piece of garbage. Reinforcements. Yes, I should be deploying reinforcements once we... Ah, uh, screw it. But let's see. This thing is not equipped whatsoever because we haven't had time to slap stuff on it. Or we don't actually have things to slap on there. Uh, the Venture, I'm really glad I didn't get rid of the Venture. This thing doesn't have anything either. Mm -hmm. Alright, well in that case we do not need to control this point. I do want to hold on to that point. And you can back that up. You have a second venture, do I? I do. Oh my. I believe I forgot that venture even existed. Oh god, that's why they were willing to uh, go for a second round. Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that explains so much. Oh, hold on. If I can destroy this, that will be such a win. There we go, that's better. Yeah, there you go. See? The Sunder can't even hold that point. This guy just randomly pulled out because apparently he doesn't care about capping anymore. And here we are. We're gonna even lose our, the last point to some random stupid face ship that's popping in our back. Ah. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. So disappointed in my ships. It's really lacking frigates. Yeah, I guess we should be picking up frigates. Like, I think I'm just permanently traumatized by frigates because they instantly die. Um, it just becomes one of these one-time use ships where you deploy them once, they explode and you basically gotta buy new ones. And that's just such a hassle to take care of them. Amplified and... Oh, screw. Screw that. Get out. It just becomes so much maintenance uh, that it's not even fun picking them up. Which is uh, why I just don't like using them. Come on, just die already. Just die already, you're so close to dying. God, oh, the forces are so tanky nowadays. So what do we have? We're being hammered on the right side. We're being hammered on the left side. I think the Sunder died. No, no, he did not die. They didn't die. They're just... Uh... Doing nothing. Just throw bulkheads on them. It doesn't cost that much OP. That's a good point. Bulkheads would actually help out quite a bit with it. And it allows me to at least recover them. More uh, more likely. Damn it. Ah, that's better. What do we have? This guy's in trouble. Uh, this is going fine. We can easily clean that up. I'm a bit worried about my friend down here. 
He's not going to be able to win against that damn blasted frigate. Do I have a quick ship that can back up? You're supposed to be retreating. How is the retreat arrow going to the right? Get down. Wait, hold on. Search and destroy? Yeah, that's my mistake. I meant to, uh... Call them back. Come on, bump. Oh, the enemy fleet is defeated yet again. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll claim my victory. Now we can pursue them. Ah, oh, finally. Alright, throw everything we have at them. Leave no, uh, survivors. Step them all. <laughs> Alright, I'll accept it, I'll accept it. Good enough for me. Ooh. Oh yes, that definitely is good enough for me. Um, I guess we can just burn through like 500 supplies, not considering ship recovery. Damn straight. They're pirate ships. Why would I? Uh, why would I be interested in them? <laughs> Ah, you're right, damn it, I completely forgot about that. What a waste. What a waste. Uh, oh, this is a nice system. Drop supply. That's just an awful lot of micromanagement otherwise. I would have just burned through the supplies trying to fix things up. It would have corrected itself in probably like a day or two. Oh Christ. And pick them up once you're back. Alright, well that's that's way too far. If there was something there, we would have seen it by now. I actually thought the thing was moving. Uh, the little indicator. Yes, I was fooled once again. Alright, so this seems to be a very empty system. Better pick up our supplies before they burn into the sun. Uh, um... Must be one of these two cargo pods, right? Oh god, I think I just lost... Uh... Alright. Um... Oh, well, this is embarrassing. Ah, that must be them. No, they're just gone. That's cool. Either that or you let the pirate fleet grab them. I mean... One way to find out, right? Ah, one way to find out. No. Definitely not the pirate fleet. Don't think it works like that. Uh, anyways, um, that is unfortunate. I guess it just buggered off. Uh, let's actually head back to the, the core roads and... Probably Galatia. That's unfortunate though. Very unfortunate. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, their supplies, I didn't need them anyways, right? We're positively swimming in them. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Oh, leave me alone, you bastards.
Well, let's see. Uh, compare to defense, the expedition forces are outmatched, and its ground fo uh, forces are superior. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. Now, Hatchimni, on the other hand... Don't even have enough to bribe them. It's targeting Jupiter. 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 Now, if I remember correctly, Jupiter is actually uh, managed by us and not an AI core. Oh, fuck's sake. Yep. That is, uh, that's totally an AI, an AI core. Son of a gun. Ah. <sighs> Alright, touche. You win this time, uh, Hatchimni, but I won't forgive. I won't forget. Alright. Yeah, 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 I know. It's a shame, but you know, these things happen. How much would you need anyways to uh, bribe them? I thought it was 500k. Even if it was 750, we have that much money. Guess I'll never know. Yeah, hatch from the AI inspection. It's like 15k for the first round now. If you use story points, yeah. But I thought uh, you could also just normally allocate funds. You have to use a story point. Oh, oof. well. Yeah, that hurts. Right? Yep. Big friends, bestest of friends. It's uh, Provost Baird wants to speak with you. He says he picks up the data pad again, examines it, and puts it down in person as soon as possible. All right. Ah, uh, you find the Junior Academy agent pacing in the landing bay. Reception is lunch. As soon as you enter, they look relieved and walk quickly to meet you. Captain C Citrus, thank you for coming. The Provost will want. See you immediately. If you will just follow me this way, thank you. Uh huh. Agent leads you through a series of back hallways and secure lifts toward the administration suites occupied by Provost Bird. At the Corvette Station, you are led past the diamond matrix windows through which you can see vistas, curving internal canyons of Galicia. Ba 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 ba. Blood MPD system. Amateurs. To enter the inner office, ah, Captain Sour Citrus, Provost Anita Bird taps something away on her desk interface and turns to address you. I am pleased that you've come to meet me. Oh, come to meet with me. After all the work you've done for my project, she lowers her head just to the degree you didn't think I'd be wasting your time with make work, did you? Uh huh. Okay, whatever their misplaced devotion, she clips her hands together, turns to business. You've to prove yourself you can be trusted, and now I ask you to take one. Take a more active role in my great work. Okay. So what? Saving the Persian sector. Okay, I'm out. Alright, saving the Persian sector. She is content to let the words hang in the air for a moment. I don't ask that you like me, and I won't make a sanctinous appeal to your emotion. What I ask is that you recognize, rationalize that I am pursuing a course of action unburdened by factional demands indeed. This will be the foremost effort to ensure the survival of our civilization from collapse. Uh, you will not be safe by your retreat to homesteads, so fragile. Uh huh. Arms race. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You have reached the beyond the known, developed theories that shatter all that came before. Apply radical technologies to ensure our survival. Uh huh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But uh, why? I imagine your self-interest will provide sufficient motivation. As you well know, we pay in cash. Who needs cash? The prospect of the continu continu continuity Jesus. of 
technological civilization is an added benefit, is it not? Unless she pauses and looks you over her arpex, arspex. Speaking evenly, I've gravely misjudged you, and your heart is set on liquidating your fleet, donating the proceeds to charity, and taking up with the flagellant order of Asperus. No, I've got it. You've been doing a lot of reading. Well, watching Dark Channel, Holofits mostly, and have half a mind to enlist as a political enforcer, smashing thief in for the thousand year reign of the Lion of Sindria. Did I get it right? Ah, uh, point made. Now come on, get it over with. Ah, uh, you have proven yourself to be capable, she says. These people, she waves her hand to indicate the Galatia Academy, are very good at very specific things over which they have obsessed all their lives, but they've kept themselves too long in the ivory tower to solve the world is out there. And we must change it. She lowers her voice again, speaking directly to you, and that's why I need you. Okay, guess we'll have to see. Indeed, she leans back, interpreting your response as a stand down. Ah, your thoughts will not be simple from here on out. I expect you to be clever to adapt to circumstances in pursuing objectives. I lay out. Yeah, GG. It's over. But for a moment, considering before continuing in a tone colder than before. No matter what you have done, uh, have to do, as long as you pursue the mission goal, I will see that you are rewarded. Securing the future is worth anything. What do I need to do? Oh, God. My predecessor, Thomas Kalitror, led a series of misguided hyperspace manipulation experiments. Ah, how to put it in layman's terms. Bert looks, look, Bert looks troubled to have to do this, sighs, and then speaks. Captain, your ship flies through hyperspace with special engines. The gate networks of the domain was similar, but also very different. Kalitror thought there might be a way to use starships' hyperdrives, hyperdrives to reopen the gates. Obviously it went wrong and the Galicia system was cut off from hyperspace and the jump points were disrupted beyond usability. Though we hear some Yahoo has found a way to cross unstable jump points, this is beyond irresponsible considering the chance of a resonance cascade. Ah, I apologize, this is irrelevant. Okay, get to the point. What matters is that once this mess was finally cleared up, the Hedgewind descended on the Galicia Academy with a technology inspection fleet. They tore the place apart, arrested the heads of the hyper physics departments and several labs, and of course took Professor Scalichor in for questioning. She turns away and with little delay sends saying he was a fool and too trusting, Bert says that with contempt. Nonetheless, we lost good people and good research. Scientific breakthroughs are built on the development of theory and yes, even negative results. I need you to recover his... There we go. See, you could have just told me that. Fetch documents. Alright. Fetch archives. Uh-huh. She'll also need... A the mission. Celiac Curses. She was a hyperspace physician researcher. The keystone of fairy... Of the fairy team behind the jump point experiments. The many small-minded as they are, only arrested team leaders in the first sweep. They didn't understand that the underlying theory being tested was largely written by one particular academic who was not suitable for leadership. Okay. Alright, how can I get this stuff? Following the aftermath, uh huh, I have an old acquaintance who has been rising quickly in the traction executive ladder. His name is Rayo Arava. Some name on some planet, he may be of some assistance to you. Got it. What about the woman? As for the party of Galicia, Bertrosov, is that regret? The look quickly disappears. For sure, was always an old fit brilliant, yes, but she had a way of being distracted with involvement in antagonistic subcultures. Ah, whatever. Her family and presumably friends, you wonder for a moment if Bert has any of those, are from Ficken Hills, so we're gonna go to Ficken Hills for clues, gotcha. Ah, alright. Alternatively, her department was operating experimental packages in the Ultima Kowal system. We have detected some ongoing telemetry that suggests these instruments are still in use by someone, though it isn't clear who. She taps her desk interface, I've sent you the coordinates. The provost looks at you over spectacles. How do you want to handle this, Captain? Are you a diplomat or an explorer? Neither. I shoot things. Well, um... How about we go the exploration route? I mean, we've been, in, we've been doing some exploration. Might as well uh, continue with that, right? 
Right, go to the Ultima Kowal system and search for the experimental packages possible being used by the concourse. I'm sure it will. Bye bye. I'm done. Goodbye. Enough is enough. My head hurts. I've been talking too much. Talk to the guy. Oh no. <laughs> I can't give you a quest again. No! Uh, Alright. <laughs> It never ends. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Another quests. We're all hauled up. Where's my accepted? Right here. These are just the infinite random quests for free money. Yes, not worried at all. I knew the name Ultima Kawal sounded familiar. That explains. Well, that's uh, that's nice and close by. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. We have the red planets. We have a bunch of things over here. Okay. Well, um, I think uh, this is the plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna call it here, and then next time we'll tackle all the quests we can and probably die in the process. But for now, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, I think I'm ready to tap out. So, uh, have a good weekend and stay safe. <laughs> and thanks for watching, hope to see you next time. Also, I gotta make sure I actually delete the right save folder and don't accidentally purge this save. That would be quite embarrassing, wouldn't it? Anyways, have a good one.